Awesome. I have power. Oh boy. Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, Tyson and Nez, I run the Farming Simulator uh, page, far Tyson, uh, Farming Simulator page, Nez Farms, Farming Simulator Modding. And today, we're uh, back at Autumn Oaks here. We realized that the beef system needs to be overhauled. Uh, nothing too major, but it will be, it will add a couple cool new features to beef. Uh, we're still kind of figuring out what we're going to do there. But I got a, I got a good idea of how we're going to do it, but we need to test a little further. But instead, uh, tonight we're going to focus on testing the dairy farm, because I know I can do that now. Uh, so we're going to, the tie stall dairy is um, profitable. We can almost 100% guarantee the one that is four times the size will be profitable. So I just, uh, I want to give a few more shout outs that I missed last night. Uh, oh, I, I got to give a shout out to CWJ108, the guy who originally made the map. Uh, he, he made the map originally. And I'll just, I'll fly up here in the sky here real quick. Show you guys what he at, what he did. So he added all of what you see across here. He did not add that farm in the far corner there. He did not add all this stuff up the side here. That was added by MB Farms in uh, FS19, who I'm also like to give a shout out for doing the conversion. Which wouldn't without uh, without him, I probably wouldn't have started modding because when I started playing on this map, that kind of what kind of what inspired me back in the early days. So uh, with that said, I think I've given a shout out to everybody else on the first stream, and now we got the we got the two other guys in the second one here. If I forget anybody else, I, I'll give you guys a shout out on the third stream. So let's get started here. Uh, we're going to be farming on this tie stall farm here. Uh, we'll be um, trying to use as many of the features as possible. So let's get started here. I've actually, I believe I set the buy point over to this field here, so we don't have to worry about the equipment spawning on top of silos like last night. And uh, we'll probably continue with this series as I kind of just mess with the beef stuff in the background, like uh, when I'm not streaming. So we'll get started here. Uh, we're going to buy the tractors. So for the big tractor, we're going to get a uh, 7520. Hey Kyle, how's it going? I'm doing I'm doing pretty good. How are you doing, man? Hey Ty, how's it going? Hey Derek, how's it going, man? Alright, so we'll set this thing up with an IVT. Put on the IC, even though I'll probably never use it. We'll put the Starfire in it, because we're going to put GPS on it, because I know you get how much you guys just love to watch me drive like I'm drunk. Um, do this. So, get the premium lights in there. Actually, I don't even think in North America you even order them like this, unless it was like a 62 or a 6115 or something. Put all the work lights up top. We don't need those. We're just How many lights do you have on top? Oh, uh, two on the f four on the front, two on the back. I just realized I don't have any money. I need to get yeah, myself that's, a, that's a small loan of two million dollars. I got I got two on the front of mine. Or, or yeah, I was talking about the uh, I was talking about the grill though. Well, with them all the way around. Yeah, it kind of wraps around the grill. Yeah, I have that. Yeah, yeah, I'm the saying that the, I I don't think that was available as an option in North America unless you got a 6015 series tractor. All right, let's go back to buying that thing. I think I caught that before I got to the bottom of the options. Start over here. Definitely need the steering knob. It doesn't do anything, but it's only 50 bucks. What's the difference between the electric and the magnetic reverser, Mark? The electric and the magnetic? Yeah, watch when I... I'll zoom in when I change them here. If, you, if the stream's caught up. Yeah, I got it up. So one just goes... Directional leader. Okay, so it looks like the electric... Look at the electric has... Uh, the It has park on it by the looks of it. I think. Could be. Yeah, they kind of feel different when you use them. The magnetic one is much more, like, sticky. You kind of just move it to the forward position. It just kind of snags upwards, pulls upwards. Yeah. And then the electric one... I think I've used the magnetic one on, like, an 8R series... And then the electric one is much more like just you have to push it down. All right. Just kind of feels different. Now hey. have you questioning our 6430. Oh, sorry. Go check it out. 
What do you What do you have in your 6430? That's got a power shuttle in it, but I don't know if it's magnetic or electronic. Well, look at the I'm look at the handguard behind it. And then look at that. Look at, it, see it that. more fixes on this end. I'm looking at it through YouTube, and it. Uh, it's, okay, so uh, the magnetic is more like a turn signal stock on like an old Chevy, uh, one of the collapsible steering columns. And then yeah, the yeah. electric is like the fancy one where it's got the tractor with the forward arrow and the tractor with the back arrow. Whereas this has nothing. Uh, it's literally just like a turn signal stock on an old Chevy car. And, and neutral and park? Yeah, it's got neutral and park. Well, see, we don't have park. So, the park is on the left hand, uh, the right hand shifter. Then I'm... It's forward and retreat, but it clicks and it has a whole background piece to it. That's weird. I bet I'll you. The IV... I bet you it's for the, the IVT. IVT I, I yeah, bet you that's IVT. for the IVT. Because on mine, I, it's, an, it's the IVT, and I do have park and neutral on the left shift. Okay, that makes sense. We're going to pay for the triple link suspension, because I don't want to break my back. <laughs> <laughs> All right, make sure I got everything here. Uh, read a few comments here. Uh, yeah, it's based off of uh, an area by Cas Casco, Wisconsin. Uh, Nolan, no, you... You, they're randomly picked. There's no way to pick the gender of the uh, animal. Uh, not with the scripts that we have currently. Unless Hoff Bergman did it. The well, gender the, of the animal? He yeah. has it, but you assign them... It, it, all the way Hoff Bergman... cows are girls, and all beef cows are boys. Is I'm pretty sure how that works. Okay, that Oh, wait, sense. but how do calves work? I don't, I don't know. So I mean, the way it works on Hoff Bergman is... The calves are a different animal, and then you and then you have a choice to assign the calves to a certain animal. So in Hoff Bergman, you technically can pick, but in real okay. life, you cannot. Well, you can. You can buy AI see, like yeah. sex semen, but that doesn't. That it's doesn't. Not 100%. Pick. Yeah, not a hundred percent guaranteed. Okay, we'll get. We had just poor it, luck with that. It, it gets you pretty damn close. Yeah. We had piss poor luck with it for the money. Ours, ours, yeah. We, we wanted a bowl with it. We wanted a bowl. Out of, uh, we got three bowls out of, out of the ones we AI'd. Two of out of the four. Hey, Calvin, I did see that beam. That was hilarious, man. <laughs> Uh, carpet firmer. Uh, if you hop into one of the the waiting area, I'll I'll get one of my guys to give you the roll. I know who you are. I basically just give it to guys I can trust. Uh, it allows you to pop in the channel on your own without us having to drag you in. Uh, let's get there. What do you think? A two wheel drive loader tractor, or should we go for a mechanical front wheel drive? Two wheel drive for the better turning radius. Four wheel drive, so you can use it in every season. <laughs> did I give you, I think I, yeah. Did that give him the rule? Yeah, better. Uh, yeah. Four-wheel drive because it'll be smoother in the field. All right, let's <laughs> give it a, let's make it four-wheel drive. Okay, this thing's kind of... You ever tried to dig silage out of a bunk silo with a two-wheel drive in February? It sucks. <laughs> What's a bunk silo? A bunk? Oh, 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 I, 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 I know, just mess I know with, I just mess with you. I just mess with you because there's, no, there's <laughs> only one bunk on the map. Oh, damn it. What are the blue things that you put stuff in? The balloon things. <laughs> we'll put wheel weights on this thing. We'll make it right heavy. You say mechanical front wheel drive so you can use it all year long, but it's open station, so do you really want to? Yep. <laughs> hey, that's what we had up until, like, 20 years ago. <laughs> hey, Kyle, uh, I'll be using case and uh, off-brand stuff, like white. I, I guess it's a little offensive to all the other guys. But uh, call it an off-brand. But I'll be using case and white and Eggco stuff and all that for the other farm, uh, the beef farm, when we get back to it. Essentially, what happened was last minute. Uh, la so last night, let me, let me just give you guys a quick fly through, because if you guys remember last night, I was showing you guys all these features and none of them were working. Well, I went ahead and fixed every single one of them, but then we realized, wait a minute, we need to redo the beef stuff. So we'll start here. So as you can see, there's no more snow in this shed. We fixed that. I'm just going to quickly fly through as many of them as possible. Did you fix the silos? Yep. That was what took the what long time. What was that about? Oh, uh, I set the collision mesh 
uh, the collision mask was wrong, and then I, uh, I was loading, uh, the wrong version of the forge blower. No snow in there. The silos work, I'll show you guys that in a second. What else was broken? Oh yeah, we were missing a window here, uh, that was actually supposed to be a fan, I forgot the fan. The only thing I forgot was to fix the hub, uh, fix the window glass. Uh, do you guys remember what else was broken? Uh, you could walk through that door. Oh yeah, I fixed that. I hope I did. Nope! Okay, apparently not. Oh, I fixed one side, not the other. Okay, easy fix. Alright, so all that's fixed. Uh, your bales won't rot if you put them over here now. You're good to put your bales in here now. And then I don't think anything else is really broken. Hey! Hey, Thomas! Thanks for supporting the channel, man! Thank you, man. Alright, so that's all fixed. Uh, that's pretty much it. Other than this being a placeholder and then missing bin here. I'm going to put a small one here. Uh, and then... Oh, there was global company errors. I didn't fix those yet, because that's easy. And I was more focused on getting those... Snow oh, yeah, the snow on the... Yeah, I fixed that. Sorry, guys. Hey, uh, Smash Shovel, it's a, uh, 1X. Hey, Brandon. How's it going, man? Yep, there's the snow fix there. Let me know if you guys remember anything else that was broken, because I'm pretty sure I fixed it all. I stayed up late doing that. Gotta make sure it's all done. Why such a small bin setup? Uh, there's not really a whole lot of land in the map. If you uh, if you want a larger bin setup, you can always just place more bins down. But if you, if you I don't know much about grain legs. I figured that was kind of sufficient if you'd only be growing corn and beans mostly as a cash cropper. Oh, uh, what else do I need? Oh, you know what the downside to running all that small stuff is? My tillage equipment's gonna suck. Uh, <laughs> well, yeah. Yeah. Well, it's not like you'd run anything bigger than 150 yards. <laughs> yeah, just use the, uh, the Salford 2131. So it's too big. You can pull it. Or the 2112. Field arrow, good. 2112 and edit it to be a sub -soiler. Hold on. I'll, pro I'll probably just pull this little 630 disc, to be honest, for now. And then we'll work on something larger later. Yeah, that's plenty. Yeah, that'll work. It's not set up as a plow, though. Okay, uh... We need a planter. And a cedar. And a weeder. And a weeder. Well, yes, but I was ho I was hoping to use those on the contours. Or are you go. getting those out as soon as possible? Because I can get that out right now if you want. Rooster. What? Are you uh, are you are you sending that into the mod hub right now or what's the? I might release. I might send it in tonight. I think you still have a copy that's pretty much identical to the one I have. Yeah, it is. I'm just gonna run a six row planner again. Cause that's all we really got until um, Western Iowa gets me a little bit of a secret project. Mm -hmm. So we'll run this. We'll run the weeder. Look at this there thing. you go. Yeah, I was just gonna use this on the contours because it's perfect for that. There you go. Yeah, use it wherever. If you're gonna use it on a hill, you better have the guide coulters. Yep. Or it's gonna slide into your rows. Yep. All right. So we got all the planning and seeding tillage equipment for the most part. All right, now we need, uh, let's go for mowers. All right, so I promise I'm not going to crash the game tonight and mess everything up. All right, we can afford something nicer. There we go. All right, so we got that. Uh, go a little fancier on the wind drawer. Tyson knows what a non-roll bar rake is? Yeah, are you surprised? 
I didn't know you knew of such things. <laughs> what's the what's a non what's a non uh, V rig? What what are you talking about? All right, Talk so we're gonna. Talk to sixteen New Holland or. Oh, what's interesting in these two? Oh, one of these is for the uh, one of these is for the little chopper. What rig did you end up getting? A uh, pro cart. So we got those. Get a nice couple of uh, nice couple of badger wagons. What do I got for front ends on these? Is that a rotary? Yeah. Oh, oh let's think of a, what do you call it? A wheel rake. Pinwheel. Yeah, like the I don't know what you call those. I gotta go with the new front panel. It's just a standard wheel rake. Yeah, it's called a wheel rake. That's what I thought. Oh, we got two types of rear panel on this thing. Let's go with that one. Oh. Oh, that's cool. Nice. You got the pin for the attachomatic. I gotta get one of those on the tractors. That'd be cool. We'll get two of these. Oh, wait. Those space. things are awesome uh, in real life. They are. I've never seen someone forward charge without them. Okay, so we ran out of space somehow, although I don't know see how, but... Soil is frozen. We can't, work, can't work on it. We used to run a FP240 and we had those on the back. We ran like five wagons with it. <laughs> so what makes the FP240 so good at, as a forward harvester? Out of curiosity. Um, you mean just in general or compared to others? Because I know there's a lot of people who talk the FP230 versus the FP240. There's a whole lot more power saving when you go to the 240. I just mean like compared to just about everything else. Like the fact that they just don't make it them even just kind of... And yeah, nothing else is made, and there's no parts being made for anything else. The only competition that I know of for an FP240 are those new Dion's. But the Dion's are super expensive. That makes sense. The FP240, I think... They're... I honestly wouldn't be able to tell you much about them, because I know more about self-propelled than I do pull type Yeah. But yeah. the FP240 is like, I don't think there's a whole load of pull type choppers out there and the FP240 seems to be the most reliable. Like, we had hardly any issues with ours the whole time we owned it. The only, th the reason we don't have it anymore is because we needed more capacity through it and we beat the heck out of it because we put 800 acres through it at cutting. <laughs> uh, the NH rake is, uh, it was U-dimmed by Smebby, uh, OS Farms, but there's a public version of it available from Whiskey Sierra Modding. But I just mean, like, uh, towards the end of the, the John Deere, uh, like, the 90, 39, 55, 39, 75, I noticed, like, nobody runs those. Everybody around here, is, if they're pulling the pull tight, they got an FPG-40. That's what I was wondering about. Like, there's got, I guess they're just really reliable, like you said. The new Holland heads are better, for sure. The John Deere heads, we've had issues. And at one point, I was on the hunt for a new Holland head because they make adapter plates to put them on the John Deere chopper because the heads are known to be such garbage. Oh, okay. Yep. And then what's the what's the deal with the pipe on this thing? Like, they're, they're all like this, unless you have the extension. They're just like that short, it's like so short. I've yeah. seen extensions. Yeah, I have and... an extension. It's not on here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I was wondering what, why they designed it like that. Because like, if you look at the John Deere ones, like, you could almost throw that into a truck if you wanted to without an extension. Yeah. We tried side blowing with our FP240, and it was so short, plus you can't rotate it hardly enough to the left. Yeah. In order to do this. It's t terrible side blowing. And then we ended up getting a Dion F41 Stinger, but we ran it with a short spout. That thing is amazing. Not only can you shoot it all the way 90 degrees to your left side, it blows so much harder because there's no cross auger. It's straight through. I remember you we never look back. The... Oh, sorry. I remember you posting in the Discord about how you had one of those. Yeah, we never look back at our FP240 once we got those Dion's. Okay. They take a bit more horsepower, but in our case, we were running 800 acres of cutting, so having one of those over an FP240 was amazing. So what'd you end up replacing it all with? 
So we started out with the FP240 and four Meyer boxes. Then we got a fifth Meyer box as a sort of a backup if or if we were on long hauls. Then we demoed a Dion uh, F41 Stinger, and we usually ran that without the extension. The Stinger is the model you can side blow it into a truck like a self-propelled forage harvester length. Yep, yep. And then we eventually bought a second so that we could have a backup and or run both of them at the same time and chew through our acres really fast because we were up to six wagons at that point. And oh. um, two years ago, we traded both of the Dion's out and we now have a Kloss Jaguar 970. Awesome. And we converted, we either sold our wagons or a couple of them uh, right before we sold our Dion's, we picked up a couple of Meyer 22 footers and they came without roofs. So we converted those to uh, straight chassis. Okay. And now we side blow into Meyer boxes and a couple trucks. So why do some guys have uh, why do some guys do the side pull with the uh, wagon style? Um, I'm not entirely sure. We never went into that. I don't see the point with a self with a pull type because you can pull it behind and yep. save yourself a driver. But I think it's when you get like with that Dion, for example, it pushes out so much that you're better off. By the time you switch wagons, you could probably just have another driver on the go and save yourself some time. So you're pushing out so much feed, it's better to just have another driver in there. Yeah, but I, I don't understand why I you'd think... want a side pull with a uh, with a like a like the what do you call that the wagon chassis, right? Yeah. If that's just what you got, what's local? I mean, that's what. It, yeah. Because you know, yeah, like each operation is different. And some of it probably comes down to labor, too. Like, some guys can... Have, like, some guys have enough people they can have someone side... They can side blow into. Others probably want to save a bit of... Save a couple people and just pull behind. Hey, Tyler. Thanks, man. I'm glad you enjoyed the mods, man. Oh, uh, yeah, there's a, local, guys, a lot of... A lot of local guys here do the uh, side blowing into the to the wagon chassis and I was wondering why they did that but a lot yeah. of guys here do that so on the self propelled they'll do high dumps oh they'll I didn't even think of those dumps. too yeah they'll pull high dumps behind their self propelled and they'll have trucks running that way the chopper never stops even if you know, that's what the, I, I watched the hay dryer guy do that he uh he runs you know, there's one guy a local owns a hay dryer and he will uh, fill a high dump while there's no truck when the truck comes up he Dumps the high dump and then tops the truck off with the uh, by doing a side fill. Well, and it yeah. depends on where you are and how good, uh, how many trucks you got and how good a uh, chopper and truck drivers you got. Because I've I've run through fields where hell the chopper will never stop moving. You'll just pull right behind the front truck and that front truck gets loaded and he starts going forward and you go forward and that chopper driver just moves the spout and keeps filling you. Yep. We've got a system during corn stylage. You keep with a row so it's easy to predict where the chopper is going to go. You've got your chopper filling your tra tractor, and he's going right alongside the chopper. Next guy, he pulls on the outside, and other guys probably do this too, but you pull on the outside, and the chopper guy just flips his spout up and shoots into the outside guy. Yep. Pull guy pulls out and takes off. Huh. I don't think they're that advanced here yet. Yeah, we've got we've got a big self-propelled and a couple trucks plus the three or four wagons that we run. So we move a lot of forage compared to some guys that I hear about. Yeah, I believe that. <laughs> yeah, they uh, the guys around here don't have operations like that. Uh, Zach, I'm from Ontario, Canada, and uh, thanks, Amy. You have to go. You have to go to surgery or what do you I, I don't quite understand what you're saying there fucking John Deere always beeping and shit <laughs> just just dump it in the river every John Deere every John Deere I've ever driven has always thrown a code I've never shut up never driven a tractor with a uh, John Deere pad. yeah sounds about right 
I just went off to the dealer again this morning. Typical dealer. Yeah. They claim the 6030 series is probably the best ones around, and we haven't experienced that what that yet. <laughs> We had a 6420 with a front loader, and all I remember about that one was just either problems with hydraulic power or it just sat half the time because we didn't want to use it, and it eventually got sold. But we had a 6120, and that was really nice. Had a 6122 wheel drive. We ran that for pushing feet and hay raking. That's the first tractor I learned how to drive. I was going to say it was... The only John Deere that I've never had an issue with was the 4440. She had, she had an issue with a 4440? No, I said that's the only John Deere that I've never had an issue with. Oh. <laughs> Probably because it was too old to have the sensors yell at me. That's exactly it, Kyle. Oh, you know what? I, I gotta adjust it so the weeds don't grow so soon. So I can actually use this thing, Rooster. I'll get to, I'll get to that as soon as the stream's over. Just a minor geo edit. Just put this thing over here in the weeds. Welcome back, Amy. Oh, we're about to have a John Deere versus Case thing in the comments here. So why don't we go ahead and just make it a poll? Oh boy. <laughs> what are they don't, di don't disappoint me. Well, don't you know, tractors are like watermelon. You keep the red and you throw away the green. <laughs> I don't know. I eat the green part of the watermelon. I'm that diehard of a John Deere guy. Okay. <laughs> Always knew you were a special kind of something. <laughs> All right, so it looks like John Deere's off to the off to the off to first place here already at sixty percent. Is there a massive? Is, is there an egg I'd like I was to just. I was just gonna say, I like how it's just John Deere and Case Massey's in the bushes. Dude, because for all we know, right now they're probably talking about deals to merge Massey with another company again. I'm just gonna take a screenshot right now and be done with this. <laughs> is it neck and neck? Yeah, it is. <laughs> I'd like, I'd and like we have a winner. Oh, I'd... come on, guys. Don't disappoint me. Come on. For all we know, they could just be trying to spite you on the stream. Yeah, they could be. <laughs> I gotta get a different transmission for this thing. What do we What do we got here? Can I vote put a again? Power on it. Oh, and we need to do. I'm assuming power quad would refer to the fact that it would be like this. There we go, that's better. Two more loads and we can move on to the next company Hey Colton, I'm doing good, how you doing man? Wow, you guys are... Can I vote for John Deere myself to break the tie? Or like to get John Deere back? <laughs> that, the that would make it a tie. President doesn't get to vote. Ah, is that how that works? No, but the yep. president has to vote for the other party. One second, guys. Let me just log into my alt account on YouTube. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah. Be right back. I need three more accounts. <laughs> this right. alt account. Why does it come up as J L Pippin? <laughs> <laughs> Man, I need to sign into my own old account, but I'm pretty sure that canceled the stream. <laughs> oh, there we go, now we're winning! Yeah. Wow, look at that. There we go. Well, motor fraud. <laughs> One vote. <laughs> huh? Those case guys want to win. They're gonna to have to get their friends in here because now we got two more votes for John Deere. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because the John Deere guys all got on their alts to say how good John Deere is. See, last night it was beef versus dairy. Now it's green versus red. Every night it's gonna be a feud. Yep. Tomorrow night we're gonna to do truck brands. No, nope, tomorrow night it's gonna to be tillage versus no till. 
Hey, Who Brennan. Who oh, yeah, that's the gonna... winner with the beef and dairy? I actually don't know. You can go back and look, though. Hey, all I'm going to say about beef versus dairy is I, lo I love eating the ground beef taco with sour cream and cheese on it. <laughs> <laughs> It's a nice combination. It you is. You need both of them. Yeah. Unless you figure out how to milk the goat. It has been cold, and I finally got myself an ATV. That's where I've been most of the time. I was supposed to stream earlier, but we've been cursing and swearing at it all day. And by cursing and swearing at it all day, I mean trying to put a winch on it and fix the lights. Oh, wait. Is that changing the range? I told you. I'm not buying a new one. Dude, they don't make new two strokes, and I don't know why. I don't know why you'd ever stop making two strokes. EPA, LOL. Is that seriously why? Yeah, EPA outlawed, at least down here, they yeah. uh, outlawed the two strokes a while ago. Yep. That yeah, sucks. Bullshit. That sucks, man. The two strokes are blast to drive. What are we going to just tell the government to pop off? Live right, right man. <laughs> Every day. Got to, they got to regulate us. You know, no more mixing gas and slapping ass. It's just, <laughs> well, just slapping ass. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Straight fuel and pulling tool. What? Oh, what have I done different to the map since yesterday, Chris? Uh, I fixed all the issues, uh, but the problem is we realized that beef farming needs to be changed to... Uh, basically, i got to change it so that the feeding system is completely different from dairy. And I, fi I figured out the best way to, to do that. But in order to do it, obviously, I would have had to have been up all night doing that. So I might as well do a quick stream here, getting this farm set up. So we're going to test... Now that we, now that I've got that kind of set up over there, and I got this starting to set this up, we're gonna just test these ones side by side essentially. There'll be two separate save games, and if any one I'm feeling like, we'll test either one. Basically, just gonna test the profitability. So we're gonna buy all the equipment, buy all the animals. Oh, come on. What gear? Did I, what range do I want this thing in? Oh right, because it's on the shuttle. Yeah, right now, Jared, it's set up that the uh, beef cattle are fed exactly the same way as dairy, and I didn't think that was the best way to do it, because there's... The way the farm's set up across the street there is there's just no way to mix a TMR ration. So I need to change it so there's no advantage, to, like, if that makes sense. Which, it, it's easy enough to do, it's just very time-consuming. And when I, I, I just got home just minutes before the stream after working on my ATV all day. So I we're, we're gonna throw that out there. Yeah, I, I'm just gonna keep throwing it out there. I mean, everybody, we, we were talking about ATVs a couple streams ago, and then I just had the opportunity to buy that thing, and I really wanted a two-stroke. Like I wanted to do one. I was ready to go ahead and try and make arrangements, and have to wait six months, only to find out afterwards it's only about a week wait if you don't care what you get. With the six months, there's a there's a huge shortage of them. Everyone was saying. I think the shortage is in the like the the large ones like the 850s and all that. I was just gonna get a 570 Polaris. Did you see that Polaris is a, is an official partner of Battlefield 2042? No, <laughs> is that all the ATVs in the in the game are actually like real Polaris ATVs and they that... have the name across the front and everything. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, they're an official like hardware partner like Nvidia and Xbox and a WD hard drives. Polaris is on that list now. Oh my. I noticed it in the trailer. I was like, wait, I paused it. That Polaris act, that four wheeler actually has Polaris written across the front. And sure enough, I've never seen that in a military game before, in an actual, like, vehicle partner. So that's I've, pretty cool. I've never seen, I don't think I've ever seen the, any ATV companies even sponsor those, like, the MX games you still buy. I don't even think those yeah. were sponsored, were they? No, um, yeah, I guess, I don't know. Something stupid I realized the other day is Polaris sponsored something in Far Cry 5 because they have the Razor XPs in that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I guess they're into the whole... I wouldn't be surprised if we saw Polaris in Farming Sim 22 then. Hopefully they had the two-stroke right. explorer. Apparently they made a two-stroke sportsman. 
So with the new with the new ATVs, do they have a differential in the back now, or do you still have to shift your weight to turn them? Because I've only ever ridden I've only ever ridden one once before I bought this one, and it was literally what I bought. <laughs> do you, Do you get what I'm saying? Like, do they have a do they have a diff back there? Or you still have to do that. Do you have to start to shift uh, your weight um, when you turn? I think they're still locked in the rear. Oh okay. Because I was wondering how the IFS works if it's, it doesn't have a diff. Or the IRS, I should say. It's uh, independent rear suspension. Can't say I've ever had to be in the one, thankfully, but I believe it's still locked. Okay. Because, I mean, they spend so much time in the dirt anyway, it doesn't matter. With a locked rear end. Yeah, I mean... The locked front end's a different story, but locked rear end's easy. I, I think Can-Am offers a locked front end now. And Chris, no. She, uh, well, kind of. She told me I could go buy a used one, so I went ahead and bought a used one. Now I've sunk so much money into this used one that it's now pretty much cost me about half of what a new one would cost, and I'm just kind of wondering to myself if I should have just bought a new one. But at least it's a two-stroke. You know what? You're just sitting over there without an ATV, and all you ever do is any decision I ever make is wrong. You're just like her. I'm good. I'm going to buy one for So fuck you. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 went get, there. I, I went there. I went there. I went there. I had to get pre-approved, and I finally got pre-approved, so I'm going to go next weekend and buy it. You're going to go get a two-wheel drive Honda, the cheapest thing you can get, because you're the cheapest rancher no. I've ever met. No, I need four-wheel <laughs> drive. I'm just not going to get power steering and all that bullshit. Oh, my. All right, what do we get <laughs> for manure spreader? Want. What do we get for manure spreader? This thing? No, I'm uh, this thing not did you put in the picture. That's what I had in the picture, but then I realized it's not going to really it won't fit underneath the uh, the little, um, what do you call that? Better cleaner. Fire and cleaner. Yeah. Better. So we'll get this for now. Yeah, pretty much. Well, this is how cheap I am. I am bartering with my boss to use his equipment to pick up my head. You are the cheapest. I, I I honestly I've never met someone as cheap as this guy. I, I honestly come to New England. We I we got plenty of them. <laughs> I guess I'm gonna. A, oh, go ahead. Sorry. There's a whole phrase called being a Yankee, and uh, yeah, it's about being a cheap fuck. <laughs> he ain't even a Yankee. That's the thing. He's more of a hippie than he is a Yankee. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and I think we're gonna go with this round baler. I think because we just need to make small round bales for the wrapper. Well, actually, I don't even know if I need to wrap bale, so I'm gonna I'm gonna try without. So okay, okay. So we got we got all of our four you know, I... equipment. We need a combine and. All right, we're going to save before we do this. I can't promise anything. 4,400. <laughs> no. We're going to try and get that 9510 out again. I think... Oh, come on. We got her. I th that ha that little half-ass fix worked. Although, I don't think we can get a tank extension on this thing and still park it in the shop. Get a turbo. Get a turbo. It's a 9500. It's got a turbo on it. You're thinking of the 95. You're thinking of the 9400. The original run of them didn't have turbos. Oh, I've your for combine Turbo <sighs> Old school John Deere. All right, get the six row out. All right, we're trying to fly through this as fast as possible. So apologize to you guys who don't like watching me set the farm up for the second time. <laughs> now I know that thing can push a 25 footer. And I know there's no hills. Well, there's no serious hills. Oh, uh, we're gonna need a feeder cart. Okay, I think I got everything. Did I remember to put the front loader bracket on that 6410? I think you did. Nope. Well, we'll get that in a minute. We don't need it right away. What's a 990? Is that's a Gale, isn't it? 
I can only do one poll per stream, so we'll do Peter versus Kenworth next time around, uh, Colton. Okay, so we got all this. Am I missing anything, guys? I got... Did he just say Peterbilt versus Kenworth? They're the same fucking thing. Oh, now, now, you, now you got this guy going. Now you, you, got, you did it now, man. You got... You, I need a dogger. Well, if Cattle, wasn't, if Cattle wasn't about to say it, I was just about to pop that off. <laughs> <laughs> the same fucking thing. You triggered all the truck guys. <laughs> See, no, every stream, it's got to be something. We're gonna just get all these guys going for yep, something. Yeah, it's all. It's no, gonna be it's, nothing but poles. Now, now. now, if you did like, I don't know. What about Chevy versus GMC? I can only have one. Nice. Yeah, <laughs> we'll make a list of things we're gonna ask, and we'll do. We'll do them all. <laughs> I'm probably gonna regret it because it's gonna get pretty fierce in the comments. But I gotta, I gotta do them all. You guys, you guys have questions. If I remember them all, we'll ask them in a poll every stream. That'll be the new thing. Hey man, it's gonna get you some views. Uh. What's next? Liquid fertilizer versus mineral fertilizer. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> what I needed. Uh, Alright, we're gonna... Oh no, Kyle, you're totally wrong. GMC makes the better looking trucks, 100%. Go look at the new 2500 versus the uh, Chevy 2500 and try and tell me that the GMC doesn't look better. And I'll yeah, show you GMC what the wireless is looking. starting to pick up their game compared to the Chevys. They always have, the look at the... Company, though. <laughs> yeah, but the, look at the look at them, is they just look so much more like, like a truck. I don't know, maybe I've grown up, maybe it's because I've grown up with Chevys, but, like, especially the 01s through the 07s, those look a lot better when they're Chevy. I disagree, no. I like the GMC version of those. Can well, I? Got, especially, no, the especially the two-tone, especially those two-tone with the green and tan you can get in those years, the GMC, it was only available from GMC, you know the, guy, you know the one I'm talking about? Yeah, but the, the headlights, the headlights and grill are fucked up on those. I don't yeah, think the so. grill and the headlights, I can't stand those. Did I put this on no. wrong? Fucking cat eyes? Am I doing this wrong, or is this... No, you put the header on there, right? Oh, there's a uh, mass in the, uh, what do you call it? It's, uh, the snoot things. So they gotta... Yeah. Snoot droop? Yeah, I gotta... I'll fix They're that. They're big and bouncy. Somebody, yeah, that shouldn't be somebody that Somebody released a fix for that, but I never got around to installing it. Alright, well, we'll just dump this over here for now. Found a ram charger that runs. <laughs> Transmission slips, but she runs strong. Oh, man. Oh, oh. I, 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 I'm sorry, man. I had to make that joke. Do we even dare go blazer versus uh, bronco? Depending on the year, I'd go with the blazer. But if we're talking like the, we're talking 90s, I'm going with the Bronco, because at least you still got a V8 and a removable top. Okay, well this is not fitting down here. We're just and gonna you get the whoop scissors in those years. You get the what? The whoop scissors. <laughs> what? <laughs> you ever looked underneath the front end of a Bronco? It's no. got the whoop scissors. No, I don't know what you're talking about. Twin eye beams. Oh, yeah, yeah, the, uh... Oh, the, uh... The traction beam. Yeah, the no traction beam. Oh, no, no. That is that is the, the desert special. You see them things out in uh, Pismo Beach, and they launch them things 30 feet in the friggin' air? Oh, yeah, the whoop scissors. That's what those things are built for. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, I'll give them that. Yeah, <laughs> nothing... There's no four-wheel drive that can jump like that thing. Freaking travel. No, there's no four-wheel drive that I can just, jump like that thing. Nope. I jumped my Bronco, and it didn't feel very good, but we landed. And, uh, then I sold it. <laughs> Alright. I love these live streams. It just lets me figure out what's all broken with all my mods. Like, what? <laughs> like, <laughs> Maybe because you actually play the game for I honestly have not played since that last live stream. Like, before that one. When right. we did Texas? Yeah, whatever it was. I have not actually sat down and actually played the game. Which that, uh, Texas that was a disaster of a freaking live stream. 
Well, we're going to go back to it. It just, I don't know when. We're probably not going to get as many other things done as I want. We just weren't prepared for that one. We weren't at I all. I can easily... I can easily set up a save game for Farming Simulator, build out the farm if I want, pick all the equipment, but when, when it comes to trying and actually farming, that's where I lose my save game. I only have two out of my 17-some save games that I have gone past five hours. Oh, man. Now, is this combine going to fit in this shop? Oh, yeah. Barely. See, my, pro my problem oh, is every time I get to farm I end up just bailing Dave the whole time. There's only so much weight in the mail. Alright. So, you got any tips for getting all this equipment in here as fast as possible so I can get on with the, sa with the thing? Super strength. Yeah. Look at this. Not stream uh -oh. it. Shove it in there and shut the door. <laughs> Leave it all outside. <laughs> I'd love to, but I parked it all in a field. <laughs> That's fine, it's... You just, uh, leave it all out the field, and then when you go to use it, you put it away. Jesse, this isn't a beef farm, I can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> you missed it, cattle. Me and Mark had each other laughing so hard. <laughs> I, went, must be fun. I went to back this, uh, I went to back this, uh, board one of those open face sheds <laughs> and he said <laughs> I said uh I don't need a measuring tape I'm a beef farmer and Mark said oh I'll just hit it again it'll self clearance <laughs> oh man that was that was the best one I think I think that's when I started to fell over laughing yeah that was pretty good <laughs> oh Hey man, we we were just I I fully appreciate what beef farmers do, Josh. I, I we were just having a little bit of fun last night. We didn't. Me and him would have an issue. It was all in the end. It was all just to make fun of uh, Cattle Ranch here, even though he's a rancher. Yeah. You know, at the end of the day. But you know, I anytime I can, anytime I can make a joke at his expense, you, you gotta take it. You know, you know what I mean? Day, he's still a, at the end of the day, he's still a retard, so... <laughs> exactly. It doesn't matter, it doesn't matter what I say, it just slips... It just, he's, got, he, he's, he's such a smooth brain, it just slides right off anyway. <laughs> we give each other shit, but we're all on the same shit together. You know what? Ah, damn it, I'm gonna sink this fucking ship. No, you're not. <laughs> Somebody bad him. <laughs> Oh, baby, you fuck. Uh. <laughs> Fine, I'll put the plug. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, whoever did that. That felt good. That is so much nicer. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say it wasn't true, but I it's still not nice. I can't even hear us talking about this either. See, the, the trick is just to mute his mic, because if he can't hear us, he's going to immediately unmute everything. Still nothing. Uh, <laughs> somebody probably dropped his admin privileges, too, when they did it. <laughs> that's, that's, that's the best way to do it. All right, you going to play nice? Or are you going to go sit in the corner with the pig farmers? <laughs> Alright. Alright, that's, that's enough. I think you decided to go with the pig farmers. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I'm just making jokes at everyone's expense here. We're equal, equal opportunity offenders. We, we are. We, 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 on mean, anybody. We, we, got some, we, we got some good jokes. Nice there were some good dairy, dairy jokes last night from the beef guys. Oh yeah. You don't need to joke about dairy that, guys. Uh... You just need to look at their wallet. <laughs> Depends where they're from. <laughs> yeah. In the Freaking states, you just need to look at their <laughs> wallet. And confirm. Gotta get this thing. Just... 
So Tyson, I've done some testing tonight. Oh yeah? Yeah, so taking food out of a cattle pen. Yep. Absolutely bricks and locks up seasons. Oh, all right. Yeah, it did not like that one bit, so. All right, well, there goes the idea of calves wandering around. Yeah. Um, well, maybe not exactly, but they won't wander around as nice as I wanted them to. Well, we still have ways around it if you just don't buy them, I guess. Yep. Yeah. Oh, I'll figure uh, it out. Um, because that's we had that conversation the other night about how to set them up so that they're already in the game. Yep, yep. I yeah, that would work. But can you do that uh, and still be able to buy them, or does that not work? I don't. Uh, no, I think as soon as you go to buy them, it's going to try to change the capacity, the feed trough capacity, so it would say. Hey, that makes sense. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, then I'll rig something else up. But I think your other idea of having a place with there was already matured dairy cows. I think that's still doable. Okay. Because yeah. that would be worthwhile because it sucks having to wait a year. Yeah, I'd just do that for like a new save game. So yeah, that's, yep. that's, yeah. So that way people can just spawn in. They literally just have a have a, have the dairy cows wait, ready to yep, rock. You just start somebody game. out. Um, I've been poking through tonight on uh, looking at splitting up the cows and so with season something that we can actually do now with because of that you know they you have, they just took the original base game four cows yep yep and they split you know okay two are beef two are dairy you can now have four beef four dairy in theory really yeah i think so i think we'll i think there's a way to do that um i could take some more time to refine that whole thought and idea but so the way I was gonna do it, I was just gonna leave it so like the, you leave the base stuff, like the the beef cattle that are already there. I was gonna make them uh, males. So if you just want to raise, if you want to have beef cattle on your dairy farm in your pasture to make extra money that way, you can do that. Otherwise, uh, you were, uh, when you go over to the other farm there, you'll be able to buy female beef cattle. That's what I was gonna right. do. But your idea works good too. <laughs> Who's in the stream? One way or the other. Yep. We'll come up with something. I got time. I think we're all pretty, right. like, because I'm pretty much at the point. I had tested all the manure stuff for me. So we got that. I can scratch that off the list if you can, if you can still see that little low uh, G list. So we're pretty much yep. just the economy test and now changing the beef stuff. And it's pretty much uh, on its way to release after that. Decent. I didn't think we'd get this far this fast. I mean, look, remember how I said I was literally looking at that list the other day? Like oh I can't get this done I did one thing I'm like oh we can get this done. <laughs> well hell I mean you think about you know when you actually got this and started working on this it hasn't been that long in reality. It really hasn't I only started working on it uh, about what was it May? Yeah. L late April maybe. Something yeah. Something like that. It was after Mercer was done. Mercer you did all your revisions that settled out and yeah. Yep. We're just gonna and then all the tractor work in between too. Oh yeah. Yep. Always tractor work going on in between everything. Yeah, getting this thing done thanks to Anhack. We was just literally sitting here testing this thing. We got this thing ready to go. Literally, I think it just needs a store image now and some uh, wheels adjusted, and I gotta make the video to release it soon. But I gotta be up early because I had the ATV done tomorrow because I want to get it out. I'm gonna take it on one hell of a ride. This is if the weather stays clear. Hell yeah. Yeah, I gotta bail on out. So take it easy, man. Alright, have a good one, Mark. Yeah, you too. Yeah. Thanks for all the help, man. According of course. To, according to my calculations, there's about a six percent chance of rain for you. But for tomorrow Saturday? there's about a sixty seven. Yeah. Going back to the topic of the implementation, though, it's crazy just how flawless Mercer came out. <laughs> like, I did that conversion uh, for Goldcrest. I put all your features in, and I haven't had to do a single update. I don't know if it's just because no one sees the page, but there has been no issues whatsoever with me just transferring files over and uh, implementing it into Goldcrest. 
Oh, you're lucky, because I get nothing but complaints from people who are finding on an FS19.net. <laughs> well, then again, that's user error. It's the connection between 100%. the seat and the steering wheel. 100%, dude. I, uh, I, I can't tell you how many times a week I have to tell people, go download it from the proper source, and it'll work. Because you know what happened was FS19.net stole the, uh, so there was a version that was messed up. Uh, it was 1.1. Update you had, you... Yeah, it was out for only eight hours, but all those websites, that's the one that comes up on Google. That's the one they took, that's the one they decided, that's the one Google decided it's going to be the top result. So now everybody goes and downloads that, and uh, they, get, they get what they, uh, they get, you know, what you get for downloading from a website that just steals mods. Makes me laugh, because now that actually shows what they're doing. Yep. No thought process, it's just robots picking them out and putting them in. Yep, it literally proves it, because they won't delete it. It's, uh, the comments on them are nothing but complaints. So like it's it's on them now. Like uh, I mean, it is, it, I mean, yeah, I released a messed up update, but I literally tried to fix something for somebody it's on short notice and didn't have any time to test to make sure you know that you could actually save the game. But I'm innocent. But yeah, I it nice, just Kyle. nags me so much that people will use these sites, especially since I am a make it a big deal about giving a modder credit and so that just made me laugh when i heard about that <laughs> well and, you, you know how those sites it, exist is the half the community says oh just google it you know where do you find yep. this just google it well that's what happens when you google it is all these websites you know those websites yep. make like 200 grand a year in ad revenue for people just downloading mods that they're stealing it's insane yeah yeah which websites um fs19 fs19.net fs19.org oh, really? farming oh. Simplator 19 modscom I could go on forever. Modhub.us has made millions of dollars since they started their website. Mm -hmm. And even though some people say it's legit, a couple people do post official links there. Only Modhub.us. The just... other ones, no. Modhub.us, yes, because it's like the most popular one. The only, I think the only reason Modhub.us is around is because there's the whole Giants is against North Americans, so we've got a U.S. Modhub. And it's like, no, that's not even close to official. <laughs> it's the opposite. Dude, you can download yeah. you can download uh, crack DLCs from that website. Yeah. Calling it, it ModHub is pretty smart, though, on their part. People go to search up ModHub. 100%. That's like the tech thing that comes up. Uh -huh. so they knew what they were doing. The only reason I use those pirate sites is sometimes they will at least put in the effort to list, to list the original modder. And so I'll go and find the original modder's page yep. and get them there. There's a lot so they're of, at least somewhat helpful. There's a lot of times I miss where you'll uh, find that. Yes Mods. Yeah, I was just yes Mods is out. another great resource until it kind of died out. Mm -hmm. I heard that the it, guy running Yes Mods has is also doing work with Mod Network, but I could be wrong. I don't know if that's true or not, but I've been told that it's the same yeah. guy. But the source... well, they're both terrible to navigate, so... Yeah, that's what I noticed. The page basically went silent, and then they opened it up to community people, but I even submitted a post myself for them them to review, and, like, they go through a review process with your post, and if they like it, you can put it... They'll advertise it, and they'll say, like, here's this mod, this person wrote it, and then they'll go post your description of that mod plus the official download link. I sent one in maybe four or five months ago and nothing has happened with it. Yeah, that's that the page sad is thing. pretty much dead. Yeah, you're better off using Mod Network. At least you're getting a little cut of the profits from Mod yeah. Network. But, you know, for those five bucks I get for every thousand downloads, you know they're getting at least 20. But it saves me from having to... I like Mod Network because it gives people a way to view everything. If I would honestly just stick to releasing on my own website, but the thing about Mod Network is it pays for my own website, so... I, yeah. I, it works out well for me. It, it, it pays for my website, so I'll use it. Mod Network is pretty good. The only two issues I have heard slash found with it. The first issue being that I've seen re-uploads of the same exact mod. Perma's modding is a great example. He released his crop duster. Two days later, Mod Network accepted it, the exact same crop duster under the same author name but somebody else was claiming downloads from it. I mean, I'm not sure where the font the system that came from, but because... the other thing is that some people... Oh, sorry. Oh, I didn't mean some to Some people you off claim there. that... Oh. Eh, it's fine. 
some people claim that mod network violates the giants terms of service because you're not supposed to be able to gain revenue from mods that's like patreon is a, an example yeah. some people say mm -hmm. that mod network violates the tos but i mean that's a touchy subject in itself i won't go into that in this particular situation for the for the money situation you're getting um you're not actually even getting money for the mods themselves. You're getting money for the traffic. A hundred percent. I remember. Yeah. It's slightly different. Near and so that's of... why I. That's why I okay with it because, like, when you think about it, they're paying you for downloads, not for people getting the mod. People don't pay for it. It's yep. rep. It's back back site revenue that you're getting from it, and it's for so many downloads, and it's helping the site generate traffic, so it's kind of like a reward from the site, not so much the people paying for it. That's 100% it. And uh, you're literally just generating traffic for them, and they're rewarding you for it. Yep. It just comes out a little bit to where some people think it violates, but it's... Giants hasn't done anything about it, so either they don't know about it, or they're willing to tolerate it. Uh, I remember at the beginning of FS19, Giants spoke out about Patreon, and they wouldn't even take a solid stance on it. <laughs> oh, they did for a while there. They were taking them down. Oh, that's good. Yeah. They, they were good. taking I them down. They, uh, they were taking Operation them down. Unity. Oh, man. That was a joke. I uh, Nothing... I don't think I've ever spoken publicly about what happened in there. Uh, I'll, oh, I'll sum yeah. it up. I'll sum it up. Uh, the old guys in the community did not want to agree with what the uh, new guys had to say, and it, it was literally just a, it was literally just a bunch of monkeys throwing shit at each other. Nothing came what up. What are we talking about? Operation Unity. Can't say uh, bros. All I remember is a bunch of Facebook posts about that, and I don't even, I didn't even follow that. I was trying to stick out of the drama because I was just getting into FS19. Well, it started because of all the leaks, right? But then people wouldn't people wouldn't agree on stuff. You, they were, you had all the you had all the big guys like the guys that have been around forever, not wanting to. Literally, they were having their their stuff leaked left, right, and center too, and they weren't willing to side with what people. Nobody could come to an agreement on anything, so it just it fell out. It, it just shook itself apart. And I think that I think that in itself just describes the community. I, I think I, I don't think anything better describes the community than that. Is like that's how divided the community is. They can't even agree on how to, you know, just anything. Like there was like basic stuff. They were yeah. disagreeing on who should be in there. And... There was a Facebook lot. Facebook of... makes the forums look polite. <laughs> I'm super active in the forums, and oh my gosh. Stuff well, goes down there, and it's like, really? Why did you have to post that? But then you go and look at Facebook, and it's like, okay, I can deal with the forums. So the funny thing about the, f the funny thing about Facebook is it gives everybody a fair platform, and that's why it took off, right? There's a lot of unfairness yeah. about what you're allowed to do in the forums on Facebook. You could just you could you could do whatever you want, essentially. Well, yeah, and it, it, to each their own with those two platforms. Like each has their own purpose, but. The, the, specifically the drama like at least with the forums you know some people are going to have at least a little bit of civility with Facebook there's no bias to farming simulator so you could probably talk about anything you want on there Yep. and with Facebook uh, you know if you're a page admin <laughs> you, the sky's the limit as long as you don't violate Facebook's rules right you can say whatever you want on a forum if you decided you were going to really you know Say you edited something somebody else made, and uh, you know they have on Facebook. They don't. They can't do anything about it. On a forum, I remember on FSUK, people were editing people's stuff, and they weren't even releasing it. And they were getting their posts deleted. They're getting their pictures taken down. They're getting banned. Those are the. Those are like FS11. I remember it was like uh, BGR modding's uh, TMs, New Holland TMs. People were adding loaders to them or something. I think it was, and the pictures would get taken down pretty much as soon as somebody posted them. Boy. Because BGR, yeah. one of the BGR modding guys was an was an admin. Hey, Mohammed, how's oh it going, man? There was some interesting stuff with FSUK. I miss it in general, but there were some interesting things going on there. I don't know why I put so much effort in backing this thing up. 
If I get it in here the next two attempts, we'll leave it in here. If not... FSUK had a lot of potential, but the guy behind it, uh, who originally started it, gave up on it. I think FS13, he gave up on it, gave it to another guy, and then uh, after a little while, the mod hub just became the reliable place to get mods. It was so easy to get your stuff on there, because the mod hub has existed since 2008. It's just, you had to be like, I don't even know who got their stuff on there, but it was very basic. Like, there's, I think 2008 had maybe four things on it. One was like a yeah. pipeline. The mod hub really to... took off in FS17 when they made it available to console. That became a big deal. That's when they started paying people, I think. And I think that's what gave. I think that's what the ascension. Mm -hmm. Yep. And ever since then, it's been full of drama. Yep. Especially American Life of Farming. There was a topic that went on for ages on the forums that just got deleted yesterday where someone brought up their opinion that, oh, it's all Giants' fault because they won't release American Life of Farming and this and that, Dude, Giants released. is against North American. Oh, sorry. And it's like, well, if there's an issue with the map, Giants have the right to not release it, and Lancey even said he's going to fix it, so why blame it on Giants? Because some of those guys just like to whine, dude. It's, it's so bad. Yep, you can definitely pick them out when they start a new thread. And then you go and you click their profile, search user post. Half of their posts, at least, are going to be about whining about one thing or another. And it's like, and it's really hilarious too because you've got a group of dedicated people, um, I and a bunch of other people. You can always tell because we'll come in there and we just shut them down. <laughs> it's really funny to watch because six different people come on there and t and give them the trustworthy answer of why they're wrong and you never see the original poster come back into that topic again <laughs> hey Logan it was about two and a half weeks it took hey Alex uh, not much going on here just uh, setting up another save game here on Autumn Oaks looks like there's a couple crop things I gotta fix here too I'm hoping I can actually get some stuff done on this save game, because that was kind of bad on the beef farm. We'll, get, we'll skip forward a bit of time here, too. Make sure it's on three-day seasons, You actually. get nothing done with it. With that no, I didn't. And it, it, it actually worked out pretty good, because knowing that we have to basically go back and redo a whole bunch. Decided I'm submitting to Mod Hub tomorrow. Wish me luck. Oh, you're going to need it. Yeah, I know. Any plans? Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm... Uh, I'm going to test to make sure that the, uh, the uh, dairy farming on this farm is profitable with such a small operation with the changes I made. And from there... Um... Oh, where's it going with this? And then from there, we're going to go back to the beef farm. We're kind of going to bounce back and forth between the two save games, I think, once the beef changes are done again. I, I had them set the way I wanted them, but then we realized the feeding system just wasn't going to work. So in order to change the feeding system, we had to separate the animals so as soon as I do that uh, we'll be good there and then we'll be back to beef farming and then once these two are done uh, pretty much make sure there's no other little bugs send it out to my testers when I've uh, finished the optimization and then you guys will like to see a release after that I can't really give a timeline because if you guys saw how bad the stream went last night I found nothing but bugs so I can't just give you guys a date, not to mention my life is literally lived by the minute, you know. One minute I'm going to live stream, the next minute I'm going out to Subway to get my fiancé a sub, and the live stream's delayed by almost an hour. Before the, end, before the end of July, I honestly don't know, Josh. I, I would hope I could, but I'm pushing for the end of summer, 100%. Because I know the first week of August, last week of July, I've got that week booked off work. So if it's not done by then, I can guarantee I can get it done then. So we're just going to rip through this as fast as we can. Uh, doing the profitability testing by just... Basically, uh, dairy is going to take two years. Beef will probably take about two years of save game time as well. We're likely going to do it on three-day seasons, make it easy. 
Might need to do six just so, because of rain and whatnot. Because doing three days, he kind of sucks for making A. How fast does a razor go without a, with the speed limiter anyways, uh, Logan? I'm excited to use this thing for the first time in a long time. <laughs> I know that doesn't turn without it, drill. Does it not turn? Not very well. Yeah, I got around that. That's good enough for me. I'm pleasantly surprised. There's a lot more space in this part than I thought there was. But the mm -hmm. question is, will this fit through the door? Because it is 20 feet wide. Uh, yes. Well, I'll, I'll edit that. In 17, yes. I was really, uh, I know Rooster... I kind of bugged him to make the uh, 15 or 10 foot version of this, but I don't know if he... I probably likely won't do it till MS-22 if he does do it. Okay, hold on here. Okay, uh... Yeah, it's a close fit here. It's fine. <laughs> 20 feet <You're> foot. <laughs> you see that 19 foot door? I don't think I'm fine. Oh yeah, look at that! Oh, just, just gonna ignore what I just... Oh, and we hit the, uh... We hit the pickup head. Oh yeah. Oh, no. Wait, what are we... Yeah, it's the pickup head here. No, it's not. It's the door. Alright, we're in. Yeah. I know in... Well, probably not gonna... Se oh, go ahead. Sorry. In 17, I used to run an 8-row on that farm and drive right Alright, I'm back. I wish you weren't. Oh, we're just gonna temporarily put this here anyway. This is gonna go somewhere else in the end. I'm just gonna drop it here. Just to get this to... There we go. I've been there, Ghost. You ever try taking a Jeep down an ATV trail? Sounds like a dangerous prospect. Definitely was a nice Jeep. Hey, Jono, I didn't know you were in the chat there. I know what you meant. I don't know what he, you meant. Spell it out, Python. Oh, no. He's referring to a problem Cataranch doesn't have ever. Literally never. Oh, that, that, that's a deep cut. That's a deep cut. <laughs> and I don't even think he realizes that he's bleeding. It, it, it works on so many levels. <laughs> what the fuck did you... It works on it works on so many levels too, dude. Talking about nothing. You'll have to be able to see over the kitchen counter to get the joke. Okay. What's <laughs> beating? I don't have a horn, damn it! Oh, you know what? I think the first modification I'm doing is getting rid of that tree right there. Just take the tree out and put a road in. Took out a lumber. Took out the lumber yard. Now you took you out of the tree. Shredder, and then just go to the edge of the map and dump it over. Now you're talking really or sell or or chip it into a wagon and sell the wagon with the chips in it. All right, there, there we go. Okay, that's part. Okay, just gotta fix this. We'll uh, we'll worry about the header off stream. I'll get that fixed. Just take the weight out of the snoots. 
Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, those headers have always had that issue. The center of mass is too far forward on them. Oh, I was told you just take the weight off the snoots. Well, that probably fixed the center of mass issue, yeah. Hey, Jono, what did you do to the... What'd you do to the baler? I'll have to go find the link you gave me. It's so far up in the chat. I mean, you're talking about the uh, New Holland baler, because I still have the original version of that John Deere baler you gave me all that time ago. So, like, I, I, I'm a pro at updating mods, let me tell you. You don't need bean dividers, just send it. <laughs> yeah, so let's run an air reel with no bean dividers. Is this going to fit? You know what? It was five hundred dollars. It's gonna fit. Okay, we just need to go. Uh... That's the spirit. It's still running. Um, cattle ranches truck. Wait, ever tried to get a tractor to fit in a shed where the tractor fits, but you don't know if you're on it? What do you mean? I'm, I'm confused. Oh, I saw you working on the flexible hoses, dude. Oh, I gotta go, I'm gonna go out to re-download that when I get a chance here. You got the, uh, you got the tandem option on there now? Alright, what's the cheapest toolbox? Where's that, uh, where's the Princess Auto Special that literally feels like it's gonna fall over every time you open a drawer? I need one of those. Oh, come on. You mean oh, one yeah. of the general? As if the John Deere snap-on box doesn't cost an extra seven grand. Are you kidding me? This is so unrealistic. All right, let's put a loader bracket on this thing. And where did I park that track? Oh, I didn't even bring it over. And I was literally staring at it for a second there. All right, here we go. <laughs> a large cardboard box. <laughs> no, it's it's one step above putting your tools in just a grocery bag, or a or a milk cart or a milk crate, Jesse. Wait, that that isn't the use of a milk crate. Apparently not. Depends who you are, where you live. And how, how That's where they got their name Milk Crate from, right? Because originally they were used to store milk back in the olden days. Yeah, now they're just used to store tools. Yeah. We it's still crazy how words milk. change their meaning. Just, uh, they store tools and, um, what was that? Uh, store tool, uh, mostly rusty tools. The tools have to be, have to have to have a minimum level of rust to be stored in them. Uh, we got a bunch of stuff I still gotta buy. I almost forgot the forge blower. That would have been a mistake. We'll just uh, super strength that forge blower away. Obviously you gotta get the uh, luck no blue here. And What's the difference with that forge blower having the three point and the and the trailer hitch option on it? Because... That's the way Buddy did it up. Basically the three point option is if you have an EU spec tractor it puts a little bar across the three point hitch. Oh it's got that two point yeah, draw bar. Yeah because otherwise it would not sit right at all. Yeah, that's what I thought it was, but I couldn't see anything physically when you use that configuration. I was just like, eh, trailer, I know I'm going to use that. Yeah, it puts a, uh, puts a drawbar across like a... Uh... Okay, I think that should be a big enough scoop for uh, this tractor. Get the, uh, and then we'll get the HLA bail fork, the famous from Jono here. Straight out of, uh, straight out of Listowel, Ontario here. With the uh, horse litter attachments. I just heard guy just stand in the middle of the road with dog. Literally, Wait, at is it Listowel or Wallenstein where HLA is? I can't remember. Or it's some little town in between Listowel and Wallenstein. I can't remember the name of it. I'm sure Jesse will remind me here. There we go. Throw the toolbox back in the garage here. Guts, 
We've got wrench and some pulleys and some square toe. I don't understand what you're saying at all, Jesse. I don't know if I've had too much to drink or if there's just way too many spelling errors there. That last word was wrenches. He just posted that. I know. Oh, okay. So he's got. Oh, yeah, I got a favorite tractor, uh, the uh, John Deere 7810. I don't know why. I just love it. Did that thing just disappear for a second there? A hench is a hammer. Oh, you mean a Newfie socket set? Or an, or an adjustable yeah. hammer, depending yeah. on what you're using it for? No, or the... I'm not sure. I don't think so. Oh, okay, uh, I don't know. Just get I'll just... Shit. Yeah, I'm just going to mute. Oh, I want to know if he's going to get yelled at or what. That sounded like they were reading off some personal information. Oh, yeah, probably. I just didn't want to know. Yeah. Maybe it's his credit card number. Probably got pulled over. <laughs> <laughs> probably. <laughs> probably thought it was a kid driving the tractor. Yeah. <laughs> It's like, why is this kid driving a driving a seventy five thirty down the road? <laughs> it's right outside of Listowel. It's got a name. It's like some little town without a name. I forget the name of it. It's like, it's literally, you come up to Listowel from Milford and you turn right. It's like right there. It's, uh, uh it's Autumn Oaks, Alex. Hey, the snow's starting to melt. Oh, boy, must start scaring the snow oh, away. Oh, the HLA, uh, the HLA bucket just decided it's going for a uh, disappear, disappearing act here. All right, that's cool. All right, we're just gonna sh we're just gonna super strength some of this stuff away for a second here, just because we're having some difficulties finding some of it. Gotta go find that HLA bucket. I don't know where it went. I got some theories. It's on top of the barn, apparently. I was betting on top of the. Uh, I was thinking it was on top of the, what do you call it? Oh no. Can't find anywhere to grab this. Put this over here in the weeds. Yeah, me a mediocre... Yeah, it's a good description of what it is. It's like the... Someone that goes by that... Mornington School by Milverton. Meets up with Highway 86 there. It's owned by the same guys that run, uh, run Tube Line. If you didn't know that, Jesse. Alright. Let's take... Let's go buy a couple cows and we'll uh, start fast-forwarding here. I own all the land I want. Uh, let's buy another chunk here real quick. Get some airflow here. Oh, that's the bottom one. Should be the top. There you go. Alright, let's buy, uh, let's fill this right up, I guess. Because we don't have any milking herd at all. So we're going to fill this right up with, uh... And then... I think I've got everything. 
as soon as I heard you stay in the stream last night that you were making them bought as one year old so they breed red wing come out as two year olds when they're cows oh man I got so excited is it, that's how it is in real life though isn't it yep that's what we do okay it's always been the one little pet peeve of mine is because seasons makes you buy them as two year olds and they aren't cows until they're three yep they're still gonna say cow or they're still gonna say young and whatnot but they don't work the same I don't want to go in and edit the scripts. Um. Oh, can you actually change that? Oh, you know what I forgot to buy? They say mature as soon as they, uh, as they actually matured. Yeah, I need a mixer. And only one of these sad little things fits in there. A little wick card. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it almost fell over. <laughs> Alright, uh, let's go, uh... We're gonna buy our. Uh, we're gonna buy and super strength everything in real quick while we wait. So we can actually make some. So we'll buy it. Give ourselves a. Uh, give... Where'd those land? Oh, they're right there. Those things look like an absolute joy to use. Oh, there. The, you... <laughs> There's gonna be a lot of laughs here in a second. Oh, these cows really needed some straw. Family farm out in Minnesota run one of those carts, and all I ever wanted to do when I was little was just get in and hop in and drive one of those. Dude, save here. Save here. As a kid, I, think I used got to... got a 50. Oh, man, we're just burning through this straw. You see that? Unless it got picked up by this mm -hmm. trigger. Hold on. Let me make sure it's not getting picked up by this. Oh, it did. It did get picked up by that trigger. I moved it too close to that one. Gotta be careful with that. Oh, hey, uh... How many milkers I got? Uh... Four. Okay, so I got, got the straw in there, and we're gonna give them hay and silage to give them a good boost in health. Although I don't think that's really necessary, so I'll do it anyway. Just to. Mm. So. Wait, hold on, before I do this, I need to make sure that hay and silage aren't on the same thing now. I, I edited it. Okay, nope, we're good. And then... So normally I'd do this a different way, but due to the game engine limitations and the fact that I can't just drive the tractor in there, I'm gonna do it this way. So what's gonna happen when we come back to this stream again, and either tomorrow or the day after, is I'm going to edit the silos to have about 25% of their capacity. So we'll actually be able to mix TMR. Alright, Logan, have a good one, man. Okay, so they got that, and we're gonna give them hay. Just buy four of them for now. I never checked if I can actually sell the milk. I'll have to edit that too, real quick. The auto milk seller. Auto milk seller. I'll have to fix that. Auto milks. Yeah, auto milk. You know, the thing where you just walk up and they tell you the driver spilled his coffee? Mm hmm. Yeah. Animal pen extension. Yeah, that's what it's called. I love that mod. amazing. I use it mostly for the water, but it's nice for the milk, too. I don't use the water part because I've got the water disabled. Yeah. Because <laughs> it's, you know, 2021. 
And the tie stall's yep. got literally, literally waters in it. Waterers inside of it. Uh huh. Oh, I didn't, even, I didn't, I didn't even point out how much John Deere's winning. Yep, all these people making accounts, you know. Been holding strong for the past 30 minutes. <laughs> yeah, it's really weird after you mentioned making accounts, all of a sudden John Deere started winning. Yeah. <laughs> hey, winning's winning. Regardless of how you get there. Alright. So we're gonna pause for a second here, let the snow melt. Oh yeah, I forgot there's no lights on this thing. But yeah, this is an absolute blast to drive, let me tell you guys. Oh, yeah. I literally have to drive this thing by keyboard and mouse. I refuse to use my steering wheel. Don't want to drive it at I night. Can't wait. Yeah, this is, uh, this might turn a few people off on this farm. Uh, once you get it where it needs to be, though, it doesn't really matter. Because it just literally has to go up and down the aisle. Yep. Getting it there is the fun for it. Doing it when it's this dark out is even more fun. I'm pretty sure in real life these things get beat up pretty good too, though. Alright, so once you get this in here, it literally just has to sit at the end of the aisle here. Oh, but it's not going to cooperate today. It is. Maybe. You know what? Let's wait for daybreak. <laughs> Ouch. There we go. Okay. Don't blame the cart, blame the physics. Yeah, this should be able to make it around this corner, but when you don't know what you're doing. We'll just... It will fit if you try better than I did. Basically back it into that room over there. Kind of back it in here. Oh no. When I do the tutorial, I'll show you guys how to get it in here. <laughs> I, so, any other time when I'm not live, literally when I'm not live streaming, I can literally back this thing in, in no problem. Are, are you playing with REA? No, but the VCA might be messing it up. Just double checking because REA is probably gonna have to fit with that thing. That probably fucks with your steering if you have VCA on Tyson. Yeah, you're right. Let's turn the shuttle off. That might make it a little bit easier. There we go. There we go. Oh, it still doesn't want to make it around here. I might turn the collision off on these uh, tie stalls. I don't even know which way it's driving now. Okay, this. I love how I can get it in here any other time I want to test it, but when it's time to live stream it, good luck. Mm. There. We'll call that good. There. That's what I get for taking the errors out of this thing. I wonder if the VCA is messing with it too. Uh... Alright, there we go. Oh yeah, the VCA is definitely messing with this. Look at the way it... it's like floating. Yep. Okay, so there's collisions on the cows that have got to go that I forgot to do. So as soon as I think as soon as I get rid of those collisions too. All right, here we go. Just drive it in the wall all the way down.
Oh, you see that? When it turns, it's flipping. It's not supposed to do that either. I might have to look at Mark's uh, original version. I think I might have adjusted the mass on this and messed that up too. Because I fixed these what up. What about that uh, other car you got? Oh, sorry. The the other one? Oh, see, look, yeah, it's that. like it's tripping over a physics. Like, let me, uh... Okay, uh... There's nothing here to trip over, so it's... I think the biggest thing is getting rid of the rigid body on the cows, which I thought I already did. Oh, and then my steering wheel isn't straight. That was also messing me up. But it's like gliding. Yeah. Yeah, it needs adjustment. Uh, we're just going to wedge this thing in here for now, guys. And uh, next stream... We'll, uh... It's all about that test. How did I get over here? Oh, I pressed tab. Yeah, it's all about testing, guys. This is the magic. This is what happens. This is what I mean when I say something is testing. I don't mean like I'm just, you know, playing for the fun of it. I mean, we're, we're dealing with stuff like this. And this thing used to be incredibly stable. It used to be able to, used to, be able to get this in here. It used to drive fine. But I went, I fixed it up, and I think I, I know I adjusted some of the physics stuff, and I thought it'd be more stable if I did. Clearly that was a mistake. Oh, yeah, look at this, man. It's literally running into a collision that's not even there. Probably a combination of fixing that card up and the cows. Yeah, I think it's running into a collision. What the mess with it? There it goes. That's a problem for later. Oh, but now I got it too far in there. Alright. We're not going to worry about that thing. We're going to focus on everything else. I'm a modder. I don't make my own 3D models, though. I just about everything else. Okay, so day one, or day two spring, our goals are we gotta get grass planted somewhere. A lot of it. I'm thinking 13. Although 13 would be probably the second least miserable to forage harvest, so I'm thinking 15 grass, oats, you know, maybe a little bit of beans for cash crop. And then we're going to do, uh, or I guess we need corn for the high moisture corn, so we do, uh, corn there, silage corn, oats, and grass. And then we'll do, uh, probably do something else here. So we'll get immediately started on the grass, which will be here, 15. I didn't buy a truck. Or a flatbed. Which shaders do I use? They're from North Simulations. Uh, they're not public yet, but they will be when he's done with them. Mm -hmm. uh, what do I want to use for a truck? Do I want to get the old Chevy out, or do I want to get a new Dodge flatbed? Maybe a half ton. You know what? I'm just moving seed. Let's get this. That way I don't get a trailer. Nice ranch hand on it. Paint was the only way, she, the only nice color combination they ever put on a Dodge. No such thing. Right there. Mm -hmm. and we'll make this a... So how was the chat with the police officer? Yeah, where were you? Oh. I was talking to a guy who wants to buy hay, and he's like, are you the owner? And I'm like, no, you know the owner? Yeah. Let's make a deal. So I think I sold about 10 mails. He thinks. Oh. I gave him the number I talked to him about it, and I said the same may or may not be for sale. And I felt it. Oh. Uh, you know what? I could have just got the seed delivered. I don't know. When some random guy comes up walking, or comes up walking up to your tractor in the middle of nowhere. Oh. Ah uh, yes, good old VCA bug 15. there. You kind of get a little spooked. Like, what are you doing? All right, let's. I want a bus to pay. <laughs> okay. 
Let's, uh, let's buy the seed and put it in the shed here. So we're going to need pallet forks as well. I like these orange things. I like one of them. Oh, I can change the color of these. Look at that. Alright, we'll buy some seed here. We're going to need grass seed. We're going to need probably two bags. We're going to need oats. At least one bag we'll get for now. We're gonna need at least that of silage corn. And at least that of regular corn. If you don't mind me asking, where'd you where's what's that mod that lets you get all the different types of seed? Because I've seen so many people use it, but I've never been able to track it down. It's the realistic Realistic. cedar, and it, and I've modified it for Mercer, but you won't need a modify. Oh, you will. Sorry, you still need the modified version. I never released the modified version. I haven't had a chance to do it. Uh, I'll probably do it with Automokes, just so that it's out there. Since it's got the multi-fruit. Yeah, basically it supports everything, including the triticale and everything. But when I added the silage corn and those sorts of soybeans, it doesn't support that. So I just made it. It's a small edit. You just the M1 XML. Okay. It, it's just most people don't want to do that work, or they just don't know, like how. You know what I mean? Like it's just. I don't know how to explain it. You know how people, people if they don't understand what they're doing, they kind of get a little, uh, what's that word, word called? Uh, where they, like, they don't think they can do it because they've had bad luck in the past. I don't, I, I, I it's not coming to my mind right now, but you know the word I'm saying. Yeah. Hey, you, you taught me how to put fences on them. So. And then you went ahead and just imported the whole map again and completely obliterated the map. Look at Jesse, I'm putting the seed inside. <laughs> you I bought that ranch, it. Hey, Nolan, that's all right, man. Hopefully, hopefully everything's all right, though. So the official link for that going to be LS Farming. Yep. Uh, okay. Yeah, cool. you're going to want to get the official version because he updates it all the time. Uh, yeah, my I'm looking now. It's 3.003. I did oh. a Google search, and the first ten posts were from all of those junk sites. And it's like not happening. Yep. Uh, I know what I could use this uh, if I didn't put that. Uh, I didn't put that in there. I could store my seeds inside that. Uh, what do you call that? Uh, Little barn. Yeah. Uh, corn crib. Or you can make a use out of the uh, horse thing too. Oh yeah. If I can pick him up. I don't know if this thing's gonna cooperate or not. Are these pallet forks gonna cooperate, or are we just gonna have to ram them up against a tree? Can I not get these wider? Hold on. Nope. I, th I thought I'd get these wider. I love this Hauer pack, by the way. I don't know. Who made it? Who made for, that? I'm not sure, but whoever did, they did a good job. The only thing I don't like, like I said, is that these forks just are not cooperative very, very well at all with this uh, seed pallets. But where's um, where's how we're based out of? Is that like a German company? Yeah, I think you can get their loaders in North America though. I've never seen one, but <laughs> I just use it for the attachments. Right here. Oh, there's that VCA. Press the clutch and into the into whatever in front of you you go. All right, I think this pallet fork's got to go. I think it's got. I think so. If I can't get this to get off of here, I'm gonna sell the fork. I always use the CSZ pack because you can. You can remove the collisions on your forks and pull them off really easy. Oh, Plus, I just also means. found a set of pallet forks in there for skid steer where the 
lights, the tines on it actually go with gravity. And so that was really nice because I have a terrible time aligning my forks. Yeah. I do too. It's it's so easy in real life with a forklift. I've never done I've never lifted uh, anything with a loader tractor in real life before, but I'm assuming you can like stand up and kind of get an idea of where your forks are. Well, you can there's you can see well like on a backhoe you have your leveler so it shows where your buckets are level, and then you just get the right height. That makes sense. Yep. Where did I, I get the skid steer? Or, sorry. Oh, somebody asked where I got the, uh... Somebody asked where I got the, uh, 5055 Series 2-wheel drive. That's, uh, from, uh, Appalachia's Modding. Okay, is this gonna go on here proper this time, or am I really gonna sell these? I think they got to go. Oh, that, they're gone. They're gone. They're oh! Go. Somebody did up a John Deere Frontier one. Uh, Logan. Oh, something. that was um, that oh. was Logan. I think he released it in KCS. He did. I had them downloaded. I just don't remember the file. Don't remember the file name. I'd go download them. I can get this one here. This one, uh, this one attaches to the uh, pallets. So let's get this. I'd... We're gonna cheat this. This will do it. This is one way to do it. But yeah, skid steer and wheel loader in real life are a heck of a lot easier than farm sim because you can lean out of your seat. Skid steer is right in front of you, but front loader, I can just lean like maybe a foot to this left or right and see where my forks are. I really like uh, forks that, with the telling Yeah, and you can, you can kind of do that with the skid steer in farm sim, but you're absolutely right. Everything else in farm sim is kind of useless. Okay, let's see if this works the way it's supposed to. I'm supposed to be able to just drive in and attach these. Supposedly. Auto load. Are they auto load or are they attachable? Yeah, it's it's totally probably the toggle. Load. Hold on, it doesn't. It's not saying anything. I'm not buying a skid steer just to bring pallets around. Oh, it appears that they just slip in really easily. Oh, look at that! Press X to attach the pallet. Yeah, that's all. It, it just it just holds it on there. Nice and handy. We're gonna put this one over here. We'll fill the we'll fill the drill up with it. Oh, I gotta add buy points to the map. I forgot I don't have any for fertilizer or anything yet. Lots of little stuff like that you forget about. Those are easy enough to do buy points. What did you decide to do with that sawmill area? I know you put a vote. Oh, on I ended Facebook. up. I I got a uh, cattle ranch helped me make it into a nice looking grass field. I Show it off, nice. What? Go drive over there. I did the last video. Oh. Oh, that was uh. Be in here watching his stream. We're all in here watching the stream. What are you doing in here? Well, the issue, I was going to see if one of you could, like, yeah, Let's keep just watching slap it. slap this on here. Could, could stream it, because I can't take the sound off of YouTube and watch it on my phone. Okay, we're going to... I think I should have bought a skid steer, just, literally just to move these. If not for anything else. This is getting bad. I should go get an auto load thing, but I don't know if they'll work with these. Oh, that's from Appalachian's modding as well. He made that uh, specifically for Mercer. Uh, he never released it. Next 
I slapped it into the wrong gear. Going in too low. All right, I'll try uh, try going off a little higher. Thanks, Hayden. I didn't even realize today was Canada Day. I forgot. I've been off work all week. Oh, Canada, our home and native land. It wasn't supposed to be canceled or something. I don't know. Did you hear about that? <laughs> yeah, I don't. It's just the uh, what do they what do they call that the uh, controversy de jour. It's not going anywhere, I don't think. Yeah. Oh, did you also hear? Apparently, the, um, the sale of gas-powered cars is going to be banned by 2035. Yeah, I don't see that happening. Yeah, I don't know either. <laughs> if you s like, I don't know. They they got a long way to go to make electric vehicles work. And not to mention, did they even make an affordable electric vehicle yet. They say, oh yeah, by then they'll be affordable. I don't. Know. The affordable ones, like the shitty ones, look like a fucking smart car. <laughs> the cheapest Tesla you can buy is like forty something thousand, I think. Well, it sounds like the Teslas are supposed to be much more efficient in the long run, like bigger upfront cost, but less moving parts and less yeah. maintenance. Oh yeah, they definitely are, but not many people like some mm -hmm. people can't afford that upfront cost. Yeah, no matter how good the like my cost. my aunt's got a Tesla, and my uncle's gonna get one too. But like, what about battery replacement? Like, you go buy, say, like a used heavy-duty truck. You just gonna have to suck up the cost of the battery replacement because some guy pulled a pulled a 40-foot gooseneck every day of its life with that thing, and the dealer didn't disclose that, or like, what's the, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, I don't see it going too far. Yeah. Really. It, Hang uh, on a sec. EVs have their purpose. If you live in a city and you have the ability to charge that thing everywhere you park it, 100%. Like, if all you're just doing is going point A to point B, they 100% hold a good purpose there. If you live out in the middle of nowhere, and you need to... Well, the, the thing was gas. It didn't say diesel. Oh, yeah. I mean, diesel's they gonna can't, count, uh, what, what are they gonna do when they can't mine the lithium? Because They can mine the lithium. Because They're the, working on lithium cat. replacements. Because Caterpillar doesn't build a big enough electric. Oh, that reminds me. I gotta go invest in that uh, Ampower. They're gonna make uh, ammonia, ammonium bat ammonia batteries. Yeah. I forgot to buy stock in that company. It's a Canadian company too, so I don't have to pay the that, insane exchange what's rate. What's the company called? Ampower, I believe. Two, M two M's. A M M Power. That new form of power. Oh, or all right. There's no collision on there. All right, cool. Oh, don't put it in reverse. Like some fancy so, battery or something. Can you no-till grass in, or do you, or do you literally have to? Uh, yeah, you can. I think you can no-till grass. You can do it. You can no-till. You, yes. you, you, no you can do it in game. I know that, but in real life, wouldn't that make your field just well, rough as hell? So, so when we do alfalfa. We almost always know. We always always till and go through and make sure it's super level before we do, because you're okay. gonna have the field for four or five years, and if not, it's gonna be rougher than heck. Yeah, and I should have time... planted alfalfa. I hear no till into fast. Actually, the you one don't time care we how haven't. Oh, sorry. You don't care how rough it is. It's no till into pasture. That's what guys here do. And actually, we've done that before as well. Or we'll go out and we'll broadcast, you know, our pasture. Um, and then we'll run a hair over the top of it. All right. Well, we're and just we'll gonna get... go. We're gonna. I think we're gonna, for the purpose of getting this done. We're gonna no-till it in, just because uh, you know we're testing the economy and not trying to do drag this out any further than yeah, we have. Yeah, but that's that's similar to what we do too because it's super super rough. If you don't, the one time we haven't tilled up our alfalfa ground, probably the planting in the past five years. It was super, super rough. And we finally just pulled that out and turned it into corn and we're so glad we did. <laughs> but did when guys... we do it, we'll run over it with a pass or two and then we'll finish with the harrow after we plant it. Do I have a bullpen? Uh, no, I don't. Uh, 
Um, I didn't. I have a. I have a feedlot kind of thing for raising steers, but that's about it. I don't have a full pen in the beef barn. It's kind of what I was. It's kind of what I was talking about. Yeah. Let's go ahead and get this grass in here as soon as we can here, because we, we need. We kind of have to rely on this for the year. But really, who has a bowl anymore? You call Buddy from down the street. He has to work with a bowl. You have a bullpen if you are the buddy down the street. Yeah. Don't you have a... Even buddy... Do I have a bull? A... Yeah, don't you have a bull? He's cleanup. He's what? He's a cleanup bull. We, we AI and then we wait 21 days. Oh, And then okay. we... And then we... Mm. Uh, pregnant. Test see if they're pregnant. And then if they are, then we know what cows are pregnant. And which ones the bulls are gonna have? The bulls gonna have to clean up, and then he'll go around doing what he does, and then you'll end up with black calves or red calves, depending on what one the bull got to and what one they have. Twenty minutes till that hill. Twenty minutes. That's it, Jesse. Should be better than that. Probably right. be twenty minutes if he had that rock mod Thundar's working on. Is he working on a ro Oh, that's going to be fun. Uh-huh, yeah. Yo, is, if you're in his Discord, it's really cool to watch that progress he's making. I'm in his Discord. I just don't, I'm in so many Discords, I don't pay attention to what's going on in other Discords. <laughs> I can't handle having more Discords than just having to scroll, like, one or two down my screen, so I'm constantly just pruning ones that I'm not in. I should do that. And I usually don't go back, but it's I can't handle having too many, because then it's just like, oh, I feel like I should be talking in here, otherwise I'm just one of those lazy members who doesn't really uh, care about being in the Discord. Hey, I, I'm I'm in every single Discord I can be, because I want to I wanna keep up with all the drama in the community. <laughs> <laughs> Tyson, would you ever consider putting in um, Triticale and Arai, maybe a Elf into actual um, Rose? Uh, I believe other people have tried that, and it's laggy, but I could be wrong. Mm. Um, I think it depends. There's a value you can change that um, doesn't affect anything but the lag because I've, I've oh, done I don't many maps where, where where weed has been put into rows and it causes no additional FPS loss or anything like that. I could Tell me people. That. He means seven and a half inch spacing, not broadcast. Because right now it just looks like it's broadcast. There's no gap yeah. at all. I don't know. I might look into that. That would look cool. That would look cool. If you have I, the values, if you know of a map that's already done it. I will look at it and try uh, it. Well, Cattle Ranch knows of a map. It's down the road. Well, all right. Well, I mean, what's it usually planted in, like, um, seven, seven and a half? half yeah, like, seven and a half. Yeah. Yep, seven and a half inch rows. So you just need to convert that to whatever the value is. Well, what you could do is, JHG made a tutorial on how to get 30 inch rows. Yep, so you yep, take that, I follow that and you all hit, the time. And you follow from the seven and a half. I can go look at that for you later if you want. Alright. I have, I have a map just down the road, someone said. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Lonox Week is set up set up that way. I've I've never heard of an Aussie Shorthorn, but I'm sure Cattle Ranch has. A what? An Aussie Shorthorn. It's kind of like an Ayrshire. Well, it's tits or eat its feet. What did he say? <laughs> It's tits are in its feet? I said, well, you a... eat the beef or pull its tits. Because <laughs> if you pull its tits, I don't know what it is. It's fully red. It's <laughs> it's fully red is, all he said, is what he said. I'm assuming it's a beef cow. I've never heard of that. Uh, I'm really regretting not turning this into alfalfa. Alpha. I just looked it up. It's basically like an dairy. Ayrshire beef animal. It is dairy, he said. Tits, I don't know what it is. Uh, I've definitely got too many polys sitting at the farm here. I'm getting a little bit of a lag spike when I look at the farm. 
that happens to me on Mercer all the time. Yeah, you put all your equipment at one farm. Yeah. Yeah, that's the downside. I tried to get the performance on par. No, I mean, nothing you can do, uh, do about it. Like, just no. right there when you need so much shit, you need so much different equipment, you just gotta suck it up. FS22 will solve it, solve it with uh, the ability that it only renders what you're looking at. The occlusion culling. Yeah, that's genius. I and can't wait four. for that. Mercer that's was one of the save games that I actually got serious with and have about 50 hours in. And I tried to split up my equipment between two farms as best I could, and it was still painful. Yeah, you, you pretty much can't. It sucks. Even, because it's still kind of, it's still there, basically. And without multi-core, it's just, it's pretty hopeless. To be fair, though, I get an average of 15 FPS when I play farming simulator, so I probably shouldn't be complaining. <laughs> I'm getting 25 if I, look at, if I look at certain parts of the farm. How many cows do I AI? What's your calving pattern? I'm assuming you're talking to Cattle Ranch. Because I don't farm in real life. So you asking how many cows I AI and what's their calving pattern? Yeah. Well, AI'd everybody, and that's your dirty head. Just... We're more of a. Kind of a weird operation. We, we do feeders mostly. So we'll go buy feeders and turn them into finishers. We're selling beef, uh, locker beef, and we're getting into uh, selling USDA beef out of our, our store. So that's kind of what we do. We kind of, we used to, there was a time that we were dropping pretty. Uh, 60 calves and we said screw it and it was just a pain in the ass <laughs> um, but pretty much we'll AI once kind of we aim for October end of October and then we'll give them 21 days and then we'll 20 something days and then we'll uh, do a pregnancy test, and the ones that are pregnant will uh, get their numbers down. Is it really a test, or are you getting a glove out that goes up to your elbow? No, no, it's an actual test. We do oh. blood tests. Uh, so then we send our we send our blood tests in. Okay. Tell us which cows are which cows are pregnant, and they have their their tag numbers with that blood test. Um. So we'll get that back. Mark in our books who's pregnant, who's not, and then we'll throw all of them, including the pregnant ones, in the bowl. Um, and they stay with the bulls for three months. So they stay with the bull November, December, and in January. And right now we're calving, and we'll be calving for a while. I know a lot of people like to calve earlier than this, but out here, if I was, if I was in a drier climate, I'd be calving earlier. But it rains so much, usually rains so much here, that uh, in May, April, May, it's too wet. This year, that's not. What tractor is that, Tyson? Uh, 7520. Hoping we can get this. The older. Hope we can get this grass. Older yeah, because it's a seven, You're driving a 7530. You're putting that seat pretty fucking quick. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so is the. That's what it's set at, though. So I'm just. Is, this, is the 7230 newer then? Yeah. 
I think the 7520, the 7020 series had a five year model run, might be four. Uh, my area, it's actually mostly uh, dairy. Uh, in his area, it's mostly beef, I think. Well, no. Really? It's, it's, we have more dairy than we have beef. In my area, um, there's five dairies within 10 miles of me. And they're mm. all, they're all over 100 head operations. I think the one that's said closest to me, they run around 3,000 head. So it's more, it's more dairy. But lifts the, lifts the drill up. If I go south of me, down into the flats, um, flatter part of the valley, it's not the rolling hills. Um, that's where the beef are. And then if I go north, northwest of me, it looks like east coast dairy farms. Whatever those blue silos are called. Harvestors? Harvestors. Yeah. With those everywhere. Okay, Doesn't my look best right. path around this field. Uh, let's see. I guess I should do one more headland and then just kind of try to start going up and down. Seventy-five twenty was a five-year run. Okay. That and then the same thing with the 30 series that followed. That's what I thought. I, I figured they did about five years for all those tractors. They, that's what they were doing with the 40 series and all that, too, weren't they? They were five-year runs. Yeah. They kind of kept up their... Uh, they kept it similar with their 60, 20, 70, 20, 80, 20, and then, like, yep. their 20, then their 30, then their 40. They're ours. Makes sense. I like this 70 to 30. It's a nice, nice tractor. Well, you guys are looking to buy something to step up your uh, operation. Why don't you get one of those? Or a 60-30 series. Because these things are still pushing 70,000 around my area. Oh, you got a 60-30 series? Yeah, no, I'd rather get a 7810 and pay 40 for the have little I, tractor. Have I ever heard of... Oh, oh, I missed the turn there. Have I ever heard of Bega Cheese? It's mostly... Is it mostly cows inside burns or free roam? Around me, it's mostly cows inside burns. Uh, you'll see them put the heifers out in the pastures and whatnot. And uh, he says he milks, uh, he works on a farm that milks 300 head. That'd be a pretty big operation here. Where I'm from. Ours, I, I'm, they're all... No. They, they, so, a lot of the dairies here have a good amount of acreage. So they go out and graze all day, and they come in twice a day. Get milk. And the, the cows, it's kind of weird, so... You might have had their running. They have, uh, like, a couple different sets. So they're not all pushed, they're not pushing them all to the parlor at the same time. Um, but they, they do grazing out here, for the most part. But, instead of, they're grazing and then they're irrigating, but they're irrigating with the slurry. So their pastures are always two feet tall grass and really good stuff. I hope I didn't lift that too early. Uh, but probably about as good as it's gonna get. Can I flip this marker? I'll oh, see. Jonah scripted this thing properly. You can actually flip the marker around without having to lower it. That's the last fail for the night, right there. to go home. And then farm online. Oh, did I miss... Oh, did I miss one over there? 
Have I heard of Fair Oak Farms in Indiana? I've never heard of them. I have. They're huge. They, um... They're so big that they have so much leftover manure that they use it to power all their trucks. They have their own biogas gas station. Oh my god, that's awesome. Yeah, and every single one of their trucks is powered from biogas. That's badass. I think that's it's around awesome. like 30,000 head, something like that. 30,000 yeah, heads? They're just a small farm. So uh, how, many, <laughs> how many FP240s do they run? <laughs> I've been learning more about anaerobic digesters. That's pretty insane if they're able to run their whole truck fleet just on methane. Well, they have 30,000 cows worth of shit, so... <laughs> How many acres does it take to feed that many cows? Remember that beef really? operation I was showing you? Yeah, I think. That feed lot that had... I think it run over... Just around 100,000 that whole area. Constant feed truck. Oh, sorry. They milk over thirty-six thousand cows. Oh my! So you factor the replacements into that, and you're looking at a big operation. I mean, thirty-six thousand milking is already big, but there's a whole scandal about like cow abuse there. Some like someone went like undercover in the dairy and like tried to expose all. The oh, animals. I've heard of that. Oh, uh, dude, those yeah. those vegans are nutcases, dude. They'll take they'll take an inch and or they'll take a molehill or they'll take a mountain. They'll take a molehill and turn it into a mountain. Oh, yeah. You know, I fight them up to my place. <laughs> All right, cattle. We we both know they're not gonna leave. So tobacco. You always, you always give me shit for buying a backhoe. Why do you think I bought a backhoe? So I could dig a pond, of course. Oh, that seems like a great idea. Yeah. I like ponds. Yeah, me too. Well, oh, you guys have a huge problem with vegans in Australia, don't you? They see, see here in Ontario, they, they'll, they'll, they'll get thrown in jail if they go to a farm now. It's great. Really? Yeah, they passed a law. They, it's, uh, I think the first time is a $1,000 fine, then it's a $10,000 fine. I think, it, I, I have to look it up. But basically, they just, they, they multiply the fine by 10 times the second time, and then the third time, it's jail time. I could be wrong. Does the, farmer, does the farmer get the money for having to put up with their bullshit? No, sadly. Aw, oh, sadly. Oh, man. Yeah, so they run 40, over 40 trucks all on biogas. Jesse, do you know what the, do you know what the punishments are for the, uh, for that bill that, uh, the, the Ag Minister passed? And, uh, yeah, Jesse, uh, Jesse went to a protest once and threw hot dogs and bacon at them. <laughs> How'd that go? How'd that go? He, he said the cops didn't stop them, so. 32,000 acres. 32,000 oh acres. That's how much Where are they out of? Not steep Indiana. enough yet. Uh, I, I, I hear if you stand in front of the gates at the slaughterhouse in Burlington, the, the, the penalty's pretty steep. If, uh, if somebody's coming through with their old, uh, their old, what was that, what was that truck? Was it a T-800? No, that was a, that was a 379P. Yeah. Actually, no, that was, no, that was a, that was a W-900. And, um, no, yeah, it was a W-900. But, buddy flattened that chick. Yeah. Well, with an orange stripe. Yeah. Forever known. The legendary truck. <laughs> legendary <What>? truck. <laughs> Dude, I'm pretty sure the day that happened was the day that law passed. Like, oh, sorry, it came into effect. I'm pretty certain I the, it. because the next day, the next day, the police were literally were actually enforcing it. Maybe the police just got off their ass and just did something. Oh yeah, I think I think even after that, you know, the cops have to do something, right? Well, okay, more like I bet you their hands are finally untied and they actually could do something. Yeah, you're right. It's probably all a big political game, and the city didn't want the cops actually doing anything about it. I think that's it. You know, being basically Toronto. 
I'm sure Bob's gonna argue with me here. Yeah, but but, uh, but it's all Toronto over there. Yeah, it's all Toronto. Where? Burlington. And um, like, yeah, cause that that's the place that happens though, like literally ten minute drive away from me. I know exactly where that. Went off the middle, I think. What'd you say? You. I said that, that where that happens, a ten minute drive away from me. Oh yeah. Are they up and running now? I heard they were closed down for a while. Because of COVID. Oh yeah. Last time I drove by there, they were. I mean, they're still. They're, they said that they're protests. I see them oh, all yeah. the time on Sundays. Dude, just take all the expired meat in your fridge and go whip it at them when you drive by. <laughs> oh, you can't now, though, because the cops all sit there, too. Oh, yeah. That's like a an aggravated assault charge we're going to have. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. You that's why you gotta take it out of the fridge and not the freezer. You look. <laughs> you look. the music. I agree, Cattle. I don't understand what he said. It was all this static. That's why I agreed. Oh, okay. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna hit this post. Ha! I win, Jesse. It's been about 20 minutes. I Yep, I agree with that too. Yeah, I, I, I 100%. I don't know what he said, but I agree. Wait, so is Alfalfa also planted at 7.5 too then? Yep. Oh, uh, no. Well, yeah, technically. So would grass if you didn't broadcast it. Yeah, okay. I'm not sure what Alfalfa would look like in Game and Rose though. It might look a little, little weird. In real life, I think it just kind of spreads out. Or no, wait. Yeah, so... I have GPS, but how am I supposed to use it? Look at this field. What am I, just supposed to run a strip down the center and just kind of go out from there? Yeah, you just... You'd get bored reading chat if you had GPS. Yeah. I do have... G <laughs> I have GPS on this. I just don't know how to set it up for a field of this shape. You, you just kind of run till you hit land... till planted land, pick it up, and set it back down again. Oh, uh, that'd be a miserable way to do it. You did it, too. Yeah, I'm here. Streaming. I got a question. Alright, go ahead. Have you ever messed with the uh, auto ground adjusted spray booms? No, um, I know Mark's trying to mess with them. He's having no luck. Uh, doing them too. Yeah, they're having, they're having I, no luck either. I like the turtles, man. I'm trying. Oh, uh, yeah, he, he, I know he put those on his new haul and he just released. I yeah, I do a curve AB line. Yeah, if only uh, if only Wapster had finished the GPS mod. Yeah, if only we had curves and pivots. Be amazing <sighs> on West Texas. Yeah. I've always wanted to go hunting Alex, but I've never had a chance. I feel like I, I feel like I just completely just mess it up like fishing. I know. You, you ask yourself, how can somebody completely be bad at fishing? But you can go stand up there for eight hours and not catch anything. You know, fishing's not about catching, right? Yeah, it is. Dude, I literally go fishing because I want to eat fish that you can't buy in the grocery store. <laughs> That's why you're not a good fisherman. You're not supposed to go out there hoping to catch anything. Dude, if I want to eat a carp, I want to eat a carp. <laughs> you know, oh, you want to eat a... <laughs> it's a joke. I did want to catch them and turn them into fertilizer for my pepper plants at one point, but then I, then I found out it's just easier to put real fertilizer on them. Because the, the fish isn't exactly the best fertilizer, but it does uh, it, it is good for some stuff. Put a bunch of fish through a fucking manure spreader. <laughs> It's kind of what organic farmers uh, use some kind of fish meal or whatever, uh, some kind of liquid stuff yeah. for fish. So, we actually made it in our, or we packaged it in the warehouse I worked in. It's fish meal, and it's ground up fish bones and, like, scales. That's hard. And then they also use, they also use feather meal, which is ground up chicken feathers. And all that is natural fertilizer. Uh, yeah, organic fertilizer. Yeah. Uh, 
just remember, next time, uh, you know, if next time you hear a vegan complaining about GMOs and they said they eat only organic, just remember what they fertilize in the fields with. <laughs> <laughs> Chicken fish bones. Well, the, you literally cannot get nitrogen without something decaying, whether it's a uh, animal or plant, and I don't think you can, I don't think there's an easy way to move that. I don't think compost gets you as much uh, nitrogen as uh, dead animal. Um, what do you call it? Decay does. No. So, soybeans put nitrogen back in right now? Yeah, they do. Well, they make their own nitrogen. I don't know if they put nitrogen back in the Yeah, field. they put a little bit. Legumes make their own nitrogen, and the way the soil, like, regenerates over time, they it, it effectively makes them put a little bit in. So couldn't they just be... Well, all, all fucking vegan feed anyway, it's just soy product. Well, technically, cow, cows only eat legume products, too, so, you know, big problems. Wait, cows? What? Alfalfa is a legume. Yeah, but is grass a legume? No, but who feeds grass these days? Yeah. Corn's, wow. uh, corn's a cereal, technically. Basically, roughages is what they eat. Yeah. Cows will eat anything you put in front of them. <laughs> Sometimes that's a problem. Within reason. <laughs> yeah, they're not pigs. They're not pigs. Pigs will eat anything you put in front of them. Without reason. Well, you know how like, dairy here feeds like pumpkins and squash to these cows? <laughs> what did he say? Like, pumpkins and squash. Yeah, don't pigs eat those? Oh, pigs will eat it. Pigs will eat it. It's all cow. They'll mix it. Dairies here will mix that shit in the feed because uh, there's farmers here that farm pumpkins only for the seeds. And so all the other shit gets out in the field and it's waste. And they'll go through and they'll load trucks up with conveyors and that shit. And they'll go dump it in the dairy and they'll mix it into the ration. Today on my stream, how many times can cattle run say shit in one sentence? We've got a neighboring dairy that they feed all sorts of vegetable byproducts. I've seen stuff from carrots, um, pumpkins, onions, potatoes, all sorts of stuff from local areas. That's the one thing you can't have a pig eat potatoes. Really? They, they feed them. In, yeah. They feed them to pigs in Europe all the time. I don't know what it is, but there's some sort of. Uh, it makes him sick and you die from it. Hey, Jerry, are you the guy that asked me to add apple pumice to, pumice to uh, Mercer, or was that somebody else? If you had what? Apple pumice, the uh, byproduct of making apple cider and apple juice. That's got to be someone else, but that'd be interesting. <laughs> yeah. Apparently, uh, people feed that to their cows as a replacement for, like, high-moisture corn, from what I understand, because it's got, like, so much sugar in it. Yeah. Can we get we some have, corn seeds? We have some apples around here, but I don't know of any guys that feed apple pumice. The one, uh, the one uh, cider press uh, near me, they sell it. They, uh, they don't sell it, they give it away. You come pick it up, you can have it. Yeah. They literally just dump it in a bin and you, you come pick it up, you can have it. But yeah, I was wondering if, I'm assuming it's a replacement for corn in their diet because it's the sugar. Yeah, it probably is. I wouldn't know enough about apple pumice to know, though. Yeah. I was gonna... It was something I wanted to add to an Ontario... I, I keep talking about an Ontario map, but, like, there's so much stuff I want to add if I, when I do, finally do one. Because, like, there's so, there's so much small-scale yeah. stuff here that... Like, there's small-scale orchards, there's small-scale everything, right? And I can just... The beauty of that is you can factor that all into a production map, right? And still have a massive farming offer operation kind of still is the main focus. Yeah. Uh, good evening, everybody. Hey, John. What's going on? Oh, just getting the grass in on uh, Autumn Oaks here. I had to go, I had to fall back on the idea of uh, testing right. the beef farming because we're going to, we're going to pull the cows out and separate them. Make a, make it so you can buy all males or all females. And 
that'll open up the uh, idea to a few other ideas. Or the, open the door, I guess I should say. Oh, what a, what a day we had at work. Just break another sprayer. Not much longer now. Listen, this whole ride thing isn't as easy as expected. I'm not sure why it's not working out. I think it's because corn and soybeans were kind of in rows to begin with. Yep. I got them in. I got the rye in rows just fine. It's just the spacing's fucked on them. They're like on top of each other now. Oh. So you gotta look at another map that has it done, and then you literally just have to copy the lines. That's all you have to do. Yeah, well, I don't know if they have it done in 7.5 or not, because the wheat... I guess if it was wheat, it would be in 7.5. Depends on the area. I don't think they plan on anything other than 7.5, I thought. You can see some 6-inch wheat. Heck, in this area, you'll see some 20-inch wheat where I live, because they'll they'll do uh they'll intercrop soybeans oh yeah so they plant 20 they plant 20 inch and then they also plant 20 inch beans in the in the spring so they have them growing at the same time yep then they'll come through and they'll harvest the wheat while while the beans are growing underneath of it so when they do stuff like that how do farms like in my area stay competitive on the soybean market if they can pull stuff like that um, or is it just, or do you get cities? Yeah. Well, nor normally the shorter season soybeans don't and, yield so well. Yeah, and then also on top, you on top of that, you add like, you know, that extra compaction that those soybeans are getting. So. Yeah, I guess you're right. I mean, they find it worth it, but. Well, yeah, it would be worth it, but it'd still be wouldn't be the best yield, but. We get anytime you get more than one crop off in a year, you're basically printing money, even if the yields tr trash. Yeah, that's the the biggest issue with so and soybeans for farmers is trying to figure out if it's worth the diesel. Like, cause most of the time, that like at least around here, they don't put a lot of effort into their short season stuff. They just kind of plant it and let it do its thing. Okay. So, you know, they might only get twenty or thirty bushels depending on the farmer and the land and stuff i mean i've heard of guys even pushing 50 on on a uh, double crop which is insane <laughs> but yeah the guys that are you know if you're pushing 20 and you're making ten dollars a bushel nine dollars a bushel depending on where you are in the country and prices that year hold on uh jesse said they tried double crop beans here in ontario interesting choice yeah that would be uh, an interesting thing to do I'm assuming the only possible way I can see you doing it is if you did uh, if your first crop was a green forage I'm going to say I, I know that that's what uh, um, Tim yeah. Berry notes they double crop their beans with because they like all the ground that they use for arable crops or any sort of arable crops they, they plant a cover crop and chop it and then they plant their corn and soybeans yeah hey Alex it really depends where you go where I'm from yes it's a lot it's mostly flat I don't know what it's I'm assuming it's mostly flat down by Jesse too 20 bushels per acre that ain't worth it I mean it depends on how much effort you put into it and what you, what your cost of diesel is there's some guys who, who around here like if they get 20 bushels they're happy with it at the current price of diesel, I can tell you that they were losing money at 20 bushels an acre, probably. <laughs> Maybe Likely. they just either happy with it. But, what current soybeans pretty good too, though. Yeah. But... Let's check what it is next near me. It's gonna be a pretty bad hayfield to mow. Soybeans right now are 14. 
1431, a whole two, 200 bases. Okay, so he's still got this section here to do, and we'll likely try and get some oats in, which we might harvest green, depending on the sh how bad the shortage of food is. There we go. Before my fucking internet card and my friends interrupt me. But literally, I was like mid sentence and the whole internet got out for me. That's explored out for you. Yeah, it's lovely. I know. Wait, why isn't my precision farming working? Oh, because I didn't take any soil samples. Uh, I'll pay the geologist when I get that mod installed. Did you, did you hear anything I said before I get disconnected? Hmm. You started talking and then just like, we're gone. I mean, you said something about something at work today, and Tyson said another sprayer breakdown, and then you started saying something, but you were gone. Ah, uh, yeah, I was saying, uh, no, no, none of the sprays broke down. We ended up just switching all the tires over from fatties to skinny wheel crops. Oh, yeah. Have a good one, Jesse. Oh. Uh, I'll see you tomorrow, probably. I was saying, um, this, this, the sprayers look, they look like you, you have taken a nice truck, put, took the nice tires off it, and then, if you know what stock F-150 Ford truck tires look like, that's what the sprayers look like now. A Stark truck? I've never heard of that. Stock, stock like a bone stock F-150 tires, the aluminum like factory. factory tires, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's like taking... Oh, stock. Okay, yeah. Yeah, it looks like those. And then we got the big-ass mud flaps on them. Yeah, I don't know if we're taking <laughs> the mud flaps off. So it's, it's literally skinny tires, big mud flaps. And it just looks ridiculous, stupid. I could believe that. It looked pretty dumb. Uh, I'll post a picture here when I get a chance. They probably won't take the mud flaps off, because that'd be a pain. Yeah, it is kind of a pain. Because if you don't have mud flaps to go back on there, it's kind of going to be a mess. Yeah. Some guys take them off because it can uh, damage the uh, flowers on the canola plants. Oh, okay. But I don't know if we're going to take them off or not. So we just put the tires on. And then we put Y drops. Uh, we put, uh, not Y drops, uh... We put dual nozzles on for fungicide. Okay. That and then uh, one of our guy, one of our guys at work uh, ended up have collapsing and going to the hospital. We don't know why. Just is he all right? Yeah, Pam. Oh yeah, he's home now. He uh, they don't they don't even know what happened. Like he was working on he was working on the sprayer and he got up. Uh, there's a bunch of them working on the spray. I was outside working on the bin pad, driving wind in circles on the tractor, and um, and apparently he got uh, he was looking at his phone, standing by probably five feet away from the sprayer, and all they heard was the thud of him falling, and he hit, he fell hard apparently. Oh God. Uh, it's enough. He got back up, and then he was just kind of limp and. Apparently, I think he, he he didn't hurt his head, but I think he's got a concussion. Oh, yeah, that's not well, good. Well, like, and then he like we we saw the ambulance pull in. And we're like, uh oh. So well, we, most workplaces, if you collapse, doesn't matter how well you're feeling afterward, you're leaving it in an ambulance. Yeah, he when we walked over and he was on the stretcher and I'd say he, he looked like a limp, he looked like a limp dick, like limp sock, just... <laughs> it, it, so don't I don't mean to laugh we... about the situation, it's just your description. Well, yeah, well, that's what he looked, that's what he looked like, he looked like he was out, and literally, he looked like he could just take his arm and it would just drop, he was just limp. Oh my. Yeah, that's not good. And, and, and he like, he, uh, he's only 21, he's, he's one of our guys from overseas, he's from Scotland, and like, he's got no medical history, just dropped, and could be heat stroke, I don't know if he wasn't, if he had the doors open and working in the, he's working in the shade, but I don't think, I don't think that, they, they were worried, like, they didn't know what, uh, what was wrong. Yeah. 
Um, I'm, I'm, I was texting him before I messaged him. I Snapchatting him before I left work. Uh, before I left work, he was finally alert and on his phone and stuff. And uh, he woke up. He 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 finally woke up and he kind of kind of knew what happened, but he couldn't really remember what happened from uh, how hard he fell. He he knew what was going on, but he didn't know what hap happened up to the time. And literally, he, he was physically signed all morning, like, we were working with him and he was joking around and stuff, and there's just something scary like that happened, you give everybody a scare. Yeah. So, we don't know what's going, probably won't know till Monday, so. Check what I posted in, um, the farm support, because... I'll, I'll check in a minute here. Taking a quick look, that does look like seven and a half, but... I, I think can't I, say I for mean, sure. I, yeah, I don't really know. I'm not really around those fields, so... We work with a, a winter triticale crop, and so that looks pretty close, but then again, you never know with farm sim. Mm -hmm. I thought it looked like the oh, yeah. I think that looked pretty good. That, 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 look, that looks pretty good. I don't know how it looks pretty decent. If anything, it's... Sorry. If anything, it looks a little wide. I think that's because of how big the the actual crop, the plants are. I know what you mean, though. Yeah. Yeah. It, you know, yeah. Now you mention it. It looks wide right now, but if you wait till it, it's more grown than that, like yeah, cause cause like corn, when it's when the corn is like three inches high, it looks like they're so far apart. But then yeah. it's six foot high. Yeah, it looks like it's from chopping tall grass. Unless you plant 15 inch corn, then you can't tell the difference. <laughs> We've been planting 15 inch for the first time this year, and it honestly does not look as narrow as I thought it would be when we used to plant 22 inch. So do you guys still do high moisture corn then, or what do you guys do for like that stuff? We just, all our corn goes to silage. Oh, okay. So what do you guys feed for we, energy? Uh, we've got a mill, and we run, uh, we've got, we bring in truckloads of corn, and we run it through our mill, and then we'll feed them ground corn. Oh, okay. And then, I'd, I'd have to look and see if we've got anything else out there for energy. I'm, I don't run the feed, so... Oh, okay. I'm guessing uh, that's common in your area, then, to get the corn trucked in, then, rather than harvesting it yourself and fermenting it. Yeah, especially, especially with our size of dairies. They're, the only combine I know of in our area is a guy who has a 9,500 side hill to combine alfalfa seed. Oh, wow. <laughs> because our area is predominantly grapes, vineyards, uh... Apples, oranges, or no, not oranges, uh, cherries. Um, so a lot of specialty crops like that because we've got a we've got a special climate where those things can grow. And then you've got a couple dairy farms, and then the occasional dryland wheat farmer. So what is what's so special about the West Coast of growing that stuff? All, like all the fruits and uh, all the fruits and vegetables. Uh, so. I think it has to do with the drier climate. So like my area specifically, the east side of Washington is pretty much right. irrigated desert. And right. then it's pretty oh. similar. All that sand too. It's real sandy over there. Yep. There's a lot of sand out here. And then California too, where they grow so many different crops down there. I think because it's enough where we, um, I think it's dry enough where you can grow some of those crops like some of those uh, tree fruit crops, yep. but not too uh, dry for the things like corn and triticale and other stuff because we can irrigate out here. I think the only crops that we can grow are things like citrus. Yeah, where, are you guys at, where are you guys at out there? Uh, by the Columbia Basin in uh, eastern, southeastern Washington. What's the closest city? Uh, yeah. Tri-Cities? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tri-Cities is about half an hour. Okay. 
Great. Now you're gonna have to deal with cattle ranch being that close to you. <laughs> <laughs> no, they might be getting corn from. Um, unless it's someone local up there. If they're hauling at the uh, feed mill, or well, that's what we did. We hauled corn. We had drivers that hauled corn up there in that area, Tri Cities area, and we delivered the dairy, dairy up there. We also do uh, different meals, soybean meal, canola. Yeah. Um, all that sorts of stuff. Well, we did when I worked there. <laughs> but yeah, I think that there's a few dairies around here. The dairies that are around here are pretty big, so it's a couple thousand head milking. I think one of the bigger ones, they've got a digester and they run over 5,000 milking heads, something like that. Oh. Just don't go over the river. Oh, yeah. South of you, hmm. Seven Mile Dairy. I don't know if you've heard of it. Yeah, I've heard of that one. Yeah. I think last time I looked, they were over... They were pushing 50? 50,000, man? Yeah. Not many dairies, but the dairies that are around here are pretty big. Mm -hmm. That's how when you get to Western Kansas is too. If it's a dairy, they're running head. Exact opposite around here, right, Tyson? Yep. <laughs> All the dairies are tiny. Well, they tiny are. by that scale. <laughs> I mean, we have big yeah. ones that are like it's 500 tiny. head, but. Canada in general doesn't have the industrial level dairies. Any robots in your area, guys? Looking robots? Um, we don't, uh, we've got one dairy that's building to put robots in. No one else that I know of, though. I think there's a few and the one guys... dairy that is doing that, they already have a operation out in the Midwest that runs robot dairy out there. We went and saw that. That was pretty cool. My grandpa knows a guy who actually went away from using the robot. He didn't like it. I don't know what the whole story there was. I just, I just. from? He didn't. He didn't like how uh, how much it cost to fix it. When I gather, I didn't catch the full story from him. I just heard him complaining about it. He likes yeah, to. Yeah, uh, that makes sense. He likes to complain about stuff like that all the time. So, I don't know what the. Sounds like they're pretty high maintenance from what they, we did. Yeah, he said, every, we visited. he said every time the guy, he said the guy said every time they come in and just service the thing, it cost him a good chunk of cash, and he said it wasn't worth it, not for the yeah. size of operation he had. Like tractors, the older older ones you can fix easier, but the newer ones you don't know how to do half the software updates. You gotta have other people come in and do it for you. Yep. I can't believe I got this entire field done without filling it up with seed. Got a fucking bachelor's degree in software engineering to be able to fix your tractor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the the um, the dairy that that's actually up the road from where my family used to farm. Uh, he switched to automatic milkers because his herd only runs like thirty to forty milkers because he sells like specialty milk and stuff to oh yeah just places or he sells bottles and stuff like that. So he gets. But it saves him a lot on time and hiring because he used to hire a lot of people out anyways. But now he only has to hire tractor drivers. So he, he likes it, to my knowledge. So. All right, let's get this back up to the farm here, and then we're going to dump the grass seed out and get the oats in. I don't know if we're going to get the oats in tonight, though. Are you not farming the contours, Tyson? Not on this farm. That'll be the long-term save game. I know people probably want to see that though. Why is the beef cool. farm, is the beef farm that main one by thirty and thirty one? Uh, the beef farm is by uh, field five there, right above it. Thirty eight. Oh. Where's thirty eight? Oh, yeah, no, that's the that's the big dairy. I know okay. that I know that'll be profitable. This is profitable, so I don't see the point in testing that. The big dairy line. should be profitable. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't miss like. I missed like the second half of the stream, so, uh, and I've oh, never played this map. 
Really? I mean, my my dairy is profitable. I don't know what other changes you've made, Tyson, but my dairy is. Of course, I'm milking about 120, so... That's what I'm... <coughs> I don't want this in load. Oh, I in unload. There. Not very profitable, but it's profitable. That's like a 10th generation dairy set you got going on there, Tyson. That was what started. I was going for here. Did he replace his drill yet? Because that 750 is getting pretty worn out. Nope. He still uses it. Oh my. But they, um... Oftentimes they'll rent like the other drill they have. Yep, I know the one you're talking about. They rent the second drill they run. Yeah, that. they rent that other drill because they like its spacing and the singulation they get for alpha alpha. So I think I'm gonna put oats over there. We're gonna do. Uh... We need lots of corn silage. Are you cash cropping the oats or are you just gonna mow them green? I haven't really decided yet. I, th I think what I decided was I needed lots of corn silage. So I think, why is field 7 right there? I gotta change that, I gotta move that marker, it's supposed to be, where is that supposed to be? Huh, I didn't even notice that was there. Not the supposed to be that. below 12? No, that's field 3. Where's field 7? <laughs> Beer is now cheaper than gas. Don't field drive. 7's right there. Between all the way bottom left. Right. No, all the way bottom left. All the way bottom left is where it should be. Oh, yeah, there it is. Yeah, yeah, I'll move that. That's easy. I never noticed that until now. So I think this is going to be corn silage, and oh, maybe this, this is going to, that'd be miserable to harvest. I'd just do 12. You think that's going to be, yeah, I've only got 42 head. 42 head, depends on your cut, but let's assume 50%. That's it's about very... 450,000 liters. Probably you can get that off 12. It's very easy to overestimate your field size for corn silage. I've learned that one many, many times on Mercer. So I'm thinking I'm actually going to make it so you can harvest the corn too with the combine in case you mess up that. Because otherwise you have to let it sit there and rot pretty much. That'd be nice, yeah. Yeah. Wait. So Tyson, I know I got about a quarter of the field I planted for silage corn done on Mercer. And I filled with a silo and I said, just screw it. And I finished with a self-propelled and sold it to a BGA I placed. No, you have to adjust your corn silage yields on Mercer, or it's not going to be fun harvesting corn silage. Yeah, I messed that up so bad. All right, I uh, wonder if I should put grass into uh, 13 as well then, maybe? That'd be a maybe. lot of grass for 44 head. Yeah, you're right. I don't know maybe make it so if you if you over... What I would if do you over for... plant, you can till it in, and maybe somehow you get a fertilizer state out of it. You already do, but the, the way that's how the game works. What I would do no. with 13 is I would plant corn if you're worried yeah. about corn silage, and then you have a backup right there. For your corn That's silage. what I was going to say, and then you can do earlage too off of it. Yeah, that would work. Except I've already plant got earlage, a... whatever you don't get, you put it in silage. Fill up the rest of your silo that you, if you don't get 12 right there. Yeah, problem is I got a high moisture corn silo. That's the only downside. Yeah, but I mean, you can still harvest the corn off that. Yeah, I, I, I can do it as cash crop, right? Yep. yep. Yeah, so then I'll do 16 and 14 as oats. We'll do 12 in corn sil silage corn, and we'll do 13 in regular corn. Which, uh, and then you'll be able to gauge how much corn you'll need in the future. Maybe, you know, you only need 14. Are you going to plant any beans? Oh, maybe I should, actually. I didn't really want to, but maybe I should. Maybe I should divide 13 in half. You could. Or you could Take it also... at that little peninsula on the bottom left and bring it up to your road. Wait, hold on. Are you talking about here? Yeah. And then bring it up over here? Or you mean just this? Use a GPS line and just make this a little... Yeah, field. you could almost do that if you wanted to. I was going to divide it down here. That'd work too. But then how would I yeah, get that'd... to it? That'd be the downside. How... Can I get back there? Hold on. The road. Or oh, you yeah. could just cut it straight to the road. Just cut it where, sorry? Just take it from that little piece there and take it straight up to your road almost diagonal, but that'd be a pain in the butt yeah. to deal with if we wanted to make GPS. Or right here. 
Yeah, if there's a road, if there's a way off of the road. Yeah, there's a road right here. You just. I was thinking yeah. the best probably, probably best way is to just split it right here. Uh. But I don't know if you can get down there. That's the problem. If, okay, I'll say this. If I was splitting this field, I would take what you're calling the peninsula there, where your <laughs> thing is, and I'd take it to the field row up by the pasture. Field road up by the pasture. I got so it would be a diagonal cut. Yeah, just that diagonal cut yep. would go through the, the number 13. That That's what work. I would do. That would work. You can do that. And then I could just use GPS to plant that entire thing. Yeah, you can use GPS pretty easily with that cut. That would work. I didn't. I never thought about just going diagonally. Oh, I think people still have a job, man. It's it's so unaffordable to automate so much stuff. In fact, uh, if anything, there'd be a lot of people. Uh, there'd be a lot more uh, mechanic positions too, right? Because of all the auto, all that automation stuff's gonna need someone to fix it. Automation can't fix automation. That's exactly it. <laughs> And let me tell you, if you're ever worried about automation, come to my work for a day and I'll show you what, how bad automation is at, at its current state. <laughs> Look at a Tesla trying to drive down the road. What is that? I said try... Look at like a Tesla trying to drive down the road and then they want to... then they want to implement some self-driving to a semi-truck. Okay. That self-driving stuff just scares me. I mean, they actually do have self-driving semis. They're just on closed courses right now. Keep them there. Thanks to the Freightliner. Freightliner actually ran a truck up and down um, 84, 83. So what was the highway is that? I don't know why I'm blanking about it right now. I love using this tractor as a loader tractor. I've never really messed with it. Like I've literally made it and never used it. It's a nice loader. It does. It's a great tractor. And I, I even put it on wagons on my Mercer save. See, I want to do a bit of work to it, uh, but I'm running out of time to get stuff done to it. I think for FS-22, some, it would need to be completely remodeled. It's not the best. But the base model is half. It's only half you dimmed. It's pretty bad. But it, it gets the job done for what it is. Yeah. This on Sounds the other hand... Really this on the other if end, anything, this... sounds are hard to come by with tractors in FS19. It is. They are. If, if anything, if I, if I was going to convert something to FS22 right away, this is probably one of, the, one of the first things I'd do. This would be so easy because this thing's already all you did. It's like, it's already up to spec. It's just, I didn't make the model though, so. I'm sure the guy who made the original model haven't converted long before I do. But I, I was just thinking things of. If anybody was curious what I'd convert first, it'd probably be this and the 6020. Just because of how easy they'd be. Alright, I'm out. I'll catch you guys later. Have a good one, Bobby. See ya. Let's go ahead and. S oh, I didn't even fill this thing right up all the way. I'm probably just gonna. I'll probably do field 14 here and then we'll probably call it a night. Yeah. We're... I think I might just. Why aren't you right farming now? that grass field? What? I said, why aren't you farming that grass field? I am, it just shows up as grass on the map. Oh, the one all the way at the... It's literally right the beside bottom? me. Oh, that's a, that's all trees. The lumber mill? What? No! The, the old lumber mill location. Oh. I don't know, I just wanted this land close to the farm, I didn't want to travel. We're testing, not really playing on your... Stupid ideas, cattle. Yeah, that too. All right, let me remember the GPS buttons. Is it left? Alt well, no, I was wondering because he's planting all this fucking grass in. That's the only reason I'm asking. He doesn't have anything to in. haul bales that far. Yeah, yeah, uh, not hauling bales that far. It'd be left alt C, and then left alt Z opens the menu, and then I think left alt something else will activate it. I changed my key binds to make them simpler, so I probably have not seen it right. Okay, so I got it on. I, it's been so long since I messed with it. Left, all, left, oh. left control S. F1. Okay. okay, we just need to make an EB line. There. Oh, the heading, back. sorry. Heading of zero. 
and set the width. It should be actually six. Did auto width? I did. It didn't work. It was a little um. under. It was a little under. Uh, get rid of that. I don't need the headline mode on. I'll do the headlands last this time. Show the lines. There we go. So we'll just space it over. Alright, this would have been fun when the chat was going crazy last night when I first started the stream. When you get a second, will you uh, go over the animal pin extension on all three pins in this form? Uh, no. only the one. other two. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta actually go over them because they're messed up. I'll tell you that okay. right now. I know that none of them are in the right spot. But I just don't know how many, because you weren't sure how many were in the pasture and the other one, so I was just wondering. Oh, you want to know how many uh, the pasture holds? Yeah. Will it tell me? If you have the animal pen extension, it should. Doesn't. Pretty sure it's a. Hold on. No, no, no. You have to like go up to the trigger. Oh, okay. One second. Let me uh, let me get this thing turned around, and I'll do it. I kind of cut myself short here on the headlines. Well, there's a guy on Twitch that now has a 50 day streaming cap on his subathon. 50 day streaming? So I don't know what that means. So he's, he's basically going to end up streaming for 50 days straight. Oh my god. Have fun It'll with be that. Interesting. What does he do when he has to sleep? Um, on stream. <laughs> like, at least that's what the last guy did. We'll see. He's only like 20 hours in. He'll get the close to 50 days or so. He's a pretty big streamer who, um, I'm actually pretty sure they're still all pledged. Maybe not. Last, I, I think this year he pledged all of his sub money to charity, so... Huh. Like, it, he's an Australian guy. Uh, his name's Pastilli. He's, like, really good at Tarkov. Oh, okay. I never played he's, Tarkov. I like the idea of it, but I never messed with it. He's, like, literally every time that they've had, like, an esports event and stuff, he's won them. Oh, my God. He, every time that he's been in, like, who's the best at Tarkov, everyone's like, oh, is Pastilli still the best? Yep. Yep, he is. He's still the best. possible in real life to plant strips like like alternating or do you have to go next to each other? Uh, I think it's more important with a corn planter than it is with a drill. To I skip rows in a drill. Okay. We've got a case 5400 three point mount. Oh. I don't know. Is that like this style but a three point mount basically? Yeah. It's the same concept as this. But Silver and drill. Yeah. It just doesn't... I think this one has no tool coulters on it or something, doesn't it? Yeah, it does, out front there. Yeah. They we have one that doesn't... Pressure. Yeah. We have one that doesn't have the no tool coulters, and then we've got one that's on a three-point caddy with a Yetter coulter set on the front. Oh, okay. I've seen those around. But yeah, there's no hydraulic down pressure on those. They're pretty old. I think they were built in the nine, late 90s or something like that. I think the 750 was the first drill from John Deere with hydraulic down pressure. Might get a bit of overlap here, but it's just oats anyway, so it's not like it cost me a fortune. Yep. 
All right, Tayden, have a good one, man. Thanks for tuning in. Actually, gonna skip again this way. This is where I need to track IR. Yeah, I always skip one, two over, then go back and fill in my rows and get that one row past the skip row, and then I'll start all over again. This is a over much more satisfying again. way to plan a field like this. Uh, this works out. This is gonna work out good. I got a little bit, a lot more space to turn around here. Yep. Not gonna be so fr not gonna be so nice not to do the headlands, but that's how she goes. Yeah. Yeah, I don't love that drill. It turns weird, I think. But... That's how they are in real life, though. All right, uh, we're gonna. I think we're gonna call it uh, quits right at the end. Of the well, as soon as we can do the headlands on this field, we'll call it quits. Yeah. I'm probably gonna duck out right now. Since I don't it's blame about you, man. It's, it's getting pretty late. Yeah, even for Pacific time. Yeah, I'm gonna keep running. Like, after the stream's over, I'm gonna start on those beef cattle changes. And then anything else I missed, uh, that there, I know at the beginning of the stream I was supposed to fix something and I forgot. I don't remember what it was. I'll have to go back and look. Was it those cows in the tie stall? Yeah. yeah uh, cool. Oh, and the uh, and the uh, uh, the physics on that. Uh, what do you call that thing? Feed cart. Yeah, feed cart. That thing was messed. Yeah. I didn't think it was. I I I fixed it up. I thought I fi thought I did better to it, but yeah, it's it's definitely tipping over when it shouldn't be. I think that's part of part of what's wrong with it. So I'm gonna adjust that, and then from there we should be good. Okay. Well, well, you guys have a good night. Yeah, or you too, morning, man. Morning, it is. Yeah, I guess it's actually yeah. morning here. <laughs> Talk to you guys later. Yeah, have a good one, man. Thanks for, yeah. thanks for being here. Yep, no problem. I wish this would tell me how many passes I have left. Fifty-five. How'd you see that? Or are you just guessing to make fun of me? I don't know. I was gonna say, there can't be 55 passes. It's been so long since I've done that field. The, in, in 17, that tree line doesn't exist. That separates that from the larger field right next to you. Uh, really? Yeah, the tree line doesn't exist. It's it's a it's a waterway ditch. Uh, I'm pretty sure it does tell you. You but, see where it says... Oh. So it, it's like they plant they plan through it or whatever, but it's like a like you know how like those like run what should be a waterway <laughs> like yeah yeah I wish I would have known that I would have uh, would have taken that out I would have known that but oh well I mean it, I think it's fine if you see where it says on the right there you see where it says plus thirteen yeah that's if how you many... go to one end of the oh. you go to one end of the field and then you go to the other and you can kind of guess how many you have. Oh, okay. That's what I figured out to do. That makes sense. Yeah. I was kind of hoping there's a button I could push to reverse that, though, and just tell me how many are left. Well, you're on the 13th from zero, which zero is where you set it at. Yep. I think I got probably about 15 more minutes here, and then I'll go check that. Uh, I'll go check that uh, pasture for you there. Yep, yep. I'll be right back. All right. Get 
little too close, too close to the cabbage on that one. We're out getting some fun headlands today, that's for sure. Looks like John Deere won the poll here, too. I mean, I kind of predicted that. <laughs> That was wrong button. Hey, cattle. Still there? Yeah, I'm back. Okay. Oh, not much. Just gonna I think we're gonna finish this field, headlands and everything, and then that'll be uh, tonight's stream. And then I'll focus. Like I said earlier, I was gonna do the beef cattle changes or start on them at least. I'm hoping to get back to that beef farm as soon as possible. <coughs> Got a lot, of, a lot of new viewers right now, though. The stream was kind of fading out there, but we got about 20 more concurrent viewers. So, uh, welcome, guys. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Uh, so those of you guys who are just showing up, we're just uh, planting notes right now. We did grass, and we're just uh, kind of focusing on getting the farm kind of... Alright, we'll go over this fast. Getting the farm kind of started here so we can test the profitability of the small-scale dairy as well as the uh, uh, beef farm over there when I get that up and running again. And then once that's done, like I said, we'll send this out to my testers to make sure there's no issues. And then uh, we'll go from there with the release. It's not your money. It's ours. <laughs> oh. You're not worth the extra 30 seconds. Hey, that's that's worth a whole half a cent, man. I think it's actually point two of a cent.
I'm gonna be one of those people that just monetizes with non-skippable if you keep, <laughs> keep telling me that, cattle. I'm just gonna make sure it just... If it was like Facebook where I could like target the advertising, I'd just set it so Oregon just gets non-skippable ads and nothing else. <laughs> just to just to spite you, but YouTube's not like Facebook. I can't set stuff like that by region. Good thing I said I got a VPN. <laughs> set your VPN to some to some like to like Russia or something and see what kind of funny ads you get. Jeez. Oh, Alright, we're on the, uh, we're gonna have a pass of shame here. Oh, we're gonna have a pass of shame here. I think the best thing to do right now is just kind of go off here and do these headlands. And then loop back around. You know what prevents a pass of shame? No. Circles. Oh, yeah. Farms in a circle. That's just weird. Mm -hmm. I wonder who. Weird people. Weird people that make a lot of money. <laughs> weird. I, sh you know, I, I should have grabbed one of those tractors. Actually, Nolan, I might, depending on how miserable tillage gets, I might grab one of those tractors, just to have something larger. Because I was looking for something. I was thinking along the lines of something like that, but I never thought to grab one. And if there was a nice open station New Holland, as much as I love John Deere, nothing nothing beats a small open station New Holland for a uh, small scale dairy dairy farm. Tyson, where are you on the stream, man? Uh, almost. I'm gonna finish this up here. Just doing this field, right. and then I gotta check some stuff for Ant Hack. Before you end your stream, I wanna see that. Area. Actually, screw it. I'll go look at your other video. Yeah, I literally focused on that in the video. Like, there was literally a good chunk of the video where I went there. It, uh, it would have been during the map tour, so if you see me... If you see me, uh... Driving around in the, uh... Mahindra... Oh, I didn't lower the thing. Now, that's a pass of shame. It's not lowering it. I actually have it in here, I just never thought to buy one. But now I got everything I need, so I don't know if I need one yet, but like I said, if, if tillage is pretty miserable and I need something larger, I might end up buying one of those tractors, just even if it's just for tillage and pulling the chopper. Okay, why is this, is this not? Oh, it is drilling now. Okay, now we'll line it back up on this one. I wouldn't even call that a pass of shame, but I do still want to, still want to seed it, so we're gonna... Yeah, you showed it with snow on the ground. I wanted to see how the dirt road came out. It might oh. need to be fixed. I'll show you that in a minute here, then. Yeah, because it, 
I want to see what that looked like because I think we might have to do something to it. Well, it's a little late to change it now. What do you mean? Well, when I've already went through the trouble of uh, starting save games, it won't apply to the new save game, uh, the current save games that I've done. No, 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 but you're going to have to fix other shit in the map anyways. Yeah. Nothing that's going to require any save game at the moment. No, I just, I, I'm thinking that it might be too wide of tracks. We'll see. Oh. Hey, Jacob. Hey, I glad, uh, you've, uh, you've had a long-term save on Mercer, haven't you? Or am I thinking of somebody else? But, uh, thanks for tuning in, man, and, uh, have a great night. two hours on Mercer. One or two. <laughs> Pretty sure you literally devoted your entire farms of life to Mercer for a while there. I had about ten minutes on Mercer. He does. Oh, I just turned on my lights and my uh, turn signals back out there. Uh, what farm do you farm on, Jacob? I don't mean I don't mean to keep you up any later than you wanted to be. Oh, that was the wrong button. Oh man, I, I almost made it there in my live stream to do... I hear that... There we go. I almost made it to doing corn silage yearage on my live stream, but I just... I, I got so dug... I dug so deep into Autumn Oaks and then I was doing that Newland stuff, I just never got there and then... I don't really see the point in streaming from Mercer now that I got Autumn Oaks where I want it now. And the focus has got to be on getting Autumn Oaks done. I might go back to Mercer, I don't know, but... Gotta get Autumn Oaks done. That's the huge priority right now. Come on, Mercer was junk. <laughs> you spent the time on Mercer getting all your scripts working, and then now you implemented it into a good map. Probably one of the Let's best be looking honest. maps in firms in history. Let's be honest. Yeah. That's what you did. Mercer's kinda dropped. That's a cool way to play it, the bee farms. Especially if you do a lot of earlage. And hack you back. Mm hmm. Alright. Oh, yeah, you, you literally spoke a couple minutes ago and I just completely forgot about that already. Mm hmm. Okay. For some reason, every time I lower the drill, it messes up my joystick throttle. Okay, we're just gonna zoom out here, make sure I got everything. It's gonna be one pass of shame here. And then we got this field done. I'll go check that pasture for you. I'll go show cattle ranch to that pe uh, field. Take a vehicle. It's right. just the part where you use the landscaping tool and <laughs> use it as a drone, like Grant Hilbert. No, he wants me to. I don't, he wants me to take a vehicle. So I'm assuming he wants to check the width of the track. Yeah. Take that tractor you're in or something. You ran out of hay silage, man. That's uh that's pretty rough. I I haven't I've never ran out of food. I always have too much. I've came close. Yeah, well, you've also edited your the amount of food your cows eat. It gets scary. I can imagine so. All right, let's get the chopping corn. Let's get the chopping corn. I gotta wait three days for deferment. <laughs> yeah, I, I was on like the last day, and I barely had enough corn silage to feed over. For... That's the way to play. <laughs> uh, that's scary. I don't like playing that way. All right, we're gonna park that there. We'll, we'll take the truck. Oh, oh, you wanted to check the size of the pasture first. Oh, I guess the truck is about where the pasture is. Either way it works. Well, I mean, we're gonna get two birds stoned at once here. You need park mod. Hey, 
speed. What mod? 50. Pardon. That's a lot of cows for this little pasture. I might lower that. Depth? Depth head? No. That's really? fine. That, that's perfectly fine. I, in that I mean, pasture? It's possible to overgraze it, but like, with the, with the ring feeder, like, that's fine. That's yeah. the whole point of that pasture. You'd overfeed that thing, especially on a if if it's not a cow calf. First of all, if it's a cow calf, you're probably gonna have more fenced acreage than that. First of all, it's a dairy. What is wrong with the sounds of this truck? Oh, that's the dairy. Yeah, it's oh, a dairy you pasture. Could, you could run probably 75 head in there, feeding them. I don't even know. 70, I don't even have enough room to milk that many cows. Okay, how do oh, I 50, get this thing out of... 50, fine. You already came to me and asked me all those numbers. Probably did. Okay, what, what do I have to do to get this thing into... It won't go into high you range. put it in drive. Yeah, I can't get it in high range now, though. Try R for race. Yeah, hold on. There we go, that worked. I had to use the keyboard for, Also, to N for nitro works, too. <laughs> E for not. electric mode. Mm hmm. Wait, E? E P for power, but yeah, you can only e do for P electric. for power after you've been in. Um... Hold on, let's get the setup right here. Oh. I don't know. Nope. Okay, hold on. Okay, so it's not working as a range selector. If this still doesn't work, we're driving this thing as an automatic. Alright. And... All vehicles are automatics. The visibility of this truck is awful. Welcome to a dodge. How we? How we? How? Um... Hi, uh, hi, hi, uh, I'm tired. 174 long. hours, man. That's almost what I had there I, on my testing save. Oh yeah, I've, I've I've done that too, man. I've done that. Just left the game. I had like 500 on a Westby save. I had it for like a year and a half. God. I don't know how you play Westby that long. Contour fields. Oh, that's reverse. <laughs> that's embarrassing. Race. Yeah. I definitely just put her in R for race there, didn't I? Yep. yep. The sounds of this. It thing. looks back. It looks back so you can see all the people behind you because you're yep. in race mode. Yeah. The Press E for electric. Save save you some fuel. The the sounds of this thing are absolutely roached. I want to take, um, like, I think there's like a 2011 F350 or whatever. It looks decent and it's not too high poly. I want to just fix the errors and make it optimized. And just have a nice farm truck that doesn't lag my game out. Just about every truck mod I have is 5 million polys. This is the only one that annoying. isn't, I think. It can sound like a boosted launch there. I literally cannot get this thing to shift automatic. I can never figure it out with the, uh, with the VCA. It's a way to get the automatic to work, but just... Oh, I think it's the ridiculous speed this thing goes. Are you yeah. going the right way? Yeah, I am. It's the ri ridiculous speed this thing goes. Hold on, hold on. Let's get this thing fixed. Yeah, that's why. It goes 100 mile an hour. Let's uh, limit this thing to uh, 120 kilometers an hour. <sighs> There's got to be a way to get this thing to be automatic. Well, I might as well mess with that now. Ain't got nothing better to do. It's 2011 F350 crew cab. You voted red, man. That's... I'm a little Sus. disappointed in you, man. Well, you know, at least people are honest, you know? Unlike the people who came in, voted, left, <laughs> maybe made another account, voted, left. The way to do it. Just wrong. This thing is two million polys. I was wrong. Yeah. Okay. Tires are a lot of it. Probably like 1.5 because they're not dynamically loaded. I wish 
this thing would actually sound proper, but... What year is this? This thing? It's a 2011. Hmm. I, I think mine's a 2011. It might be a 2009. I can't remember. So that's pretty much what I ride in every day for work. <laughs> Look, can you look on the outside for a second? Me? Yeah. Cattle, I think it's about right. I think it should be a little narrower. He's not even there. Nope. Yeah, I'm here. Yeah, he's a little smaller on the sides. Maybe yeah. even in the middle. Not really the middle. It's mostly going to be trackers going through there, so just on the sides. Oh my god, this... I hate the VCA for, being, for driving like trucks and stuff. It's so messed up. And there's a way to fix it, I just don't know how. I guess I can just drive in low range. Why don't you just put an IVT in it? Because that'd be an abomination. Abomination! It would probably run just as good as it is right now. Yeah, you're right. Oh, that's a lot of reverse speed there. Oh, it's still in reverse. Oh, we're driving a Dodge, we got six neutrals. Alright, we're just gonna take this back to the farm and call it a night. Alright, now it kinda of dry. No, no, now it still sounds weird. I might just get rid of this thing. Alright, you know what, actually? That's the stop sign right there. Alright, I don't see anybody. We're not stopping. I know all the red guys are just waiting until we're about to end the stream and just, they're just going to pile on the votes for red. And then it's it's gonna go in their favor. All right. Let's get this back to the farm here, then. Do you have to blow in the mic, cattle? Yes. Yeah. He he's got to blow upwards towards the mic. <laughs> Yeah, I'm praying my internet is finally settled down and stop PMSing. Oh, you're gonna hate me because I just want to end the stream. Oh, I don't care. I haven't been able to watch the stream. My internet's been like flux rate, and I think it's finally fucking stabilized. Oh, well, that's exploded for you, man. Yeah, I know. It's been having its issues lately. I just oh, hope yeah. it's. I I just hope it. Irons itself out and it has because I've got a nice long four day weekend and <laughs> yeah and it's I don't I don't plan on doing much far I might go <laughs> to the pool but I don't plan on much doing much this weekend because it's like thirty five fucking plus thirty six all week oh yeah weekend. it's hot out there isn't it oh fuck yeah it's bad yeah like we we need rain there's canola there's a canola field half a mile from me and it's already starting flower and the plants are not even the plants are just over knee high and I asked one of the guys at work and I said is that normal for this time of year and he says it's a little it's it's he says it's early but it's it's not normal it's a little early but it's yeah I think and he's they think it's due to the heat not enough 
That makes sense. So, uh, a lot of plants if, flower early because of heat. Yeah, like, it, we need rain. Like, we need uh, a good inch to two. We need, like, two to three inches. So we, oh, fuck, you do us good. Yeah. Alright. I'm just hoping that... I'm, ho I'm hoping this heat just brings something. And we get a nice big shower. And it'll do us good until near harvest time. And we get another little short shower just to finish them off. And Well, it's been raining here non-stop. But, uh, I gotta call it our night here, guys. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. I'll see you guys most likely tomorrow. Uh, if not tomorrow, I'll definitely see you guys again on the weekend. Have a great night.